bullet. And we've yep. got this best of five between Team Valis and Team Tato. Valis yep. playing in the gray, and Valis immediately coming forward. And he's going to be fighting against Team Ta or Tato. So the captains are fighting against each other. And it's Malay against Japanese here. And it looks like Valis has already lost his scout. And Tato's getting some help over here from uh, Tigger. So Valis is going to have to retreat on this flank. And there's shenanigans going on on the other flank as well. With Fangita coming forward with villagers and FedEx and his ally scout over there. So that's a Italians against Turks matchup. So like all four flank sibs are kind of like fast Imperial style play into mm -hmm. Arbalus. Except for the Turks of course that'll make their way maybe into a wall of Bombard Towers. As we saw last set that I cast. Um, the Aussie boy shed going into like a hundred bombard towers in one game. It was kind of wow. nuts. <laughs> oh my god! I see. Look, do you see the forest in the middle to the south? And there's a wolf inside of it. Isn't that so peaceful? The I forest. Like it. <laughs> I think I know it. Yep, yep. I knew exactly where you were looking. The wolf is very much alone. Wolf He's is alone. Lonely wolf. <laughs> Valis, uh, Valis losing a villager <clears throat> and Tato now trying to forward wall. So Tato initially wasn't trying to get the, uh, the forward position on Valis's base. And then he won a few fights and he, it's enabled him to push forward. And Valis is still going to keep sending bills here. Cause he doesn't want Tato to have all this access to his, uh, his eco and he's going to lose another vill. Oh my Ooh, God. That's not the greatest of stars. Jesus. Good teamwork there, though, from Tigger to come over and snipe that villager, even with no HP left on the scout. Valis, though, looks like he will finally get this wall up. The funny thing is that it's still completely open <laughs> on the other side. Yeah. They're fighting for this, and it's completely open, and there's two wolves there, too. It's kind of weird, that middle part there. And look at what Tato's the saying. He's and almost Wallace dead. Is almost dead. Yeah, come on. Or super <laughs> behind. So, man, that sounds like, yeah, someone I knew. <clears throat> it sounds like you in school. Three grades behind. <laughs> oh, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to tell people that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Must have been embarrassing for you. <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't know. I even don't know what to say. Yes. Uh, it's always a pleasure with you, Dave. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there's one one pawn for each team. So actual fair pawn generation. Sometimes you get like so. The rule is you have to be above or ahead by three pawns for an admin re to be called. Um, but a lot of the times we see like three pawns for one team and then one pawn for the other team, and it just feels like the pockets can't boom the same. But this mm -hmm. time we've got a pawn for Monos and a pawn for Mr. Planner. Although Mr. Planner. Hasn't gone for uh, fishing ships yet. And I guess we should introduce the remaining players since we got it caught up with the flanks battle there. Mr. Planner playing as the Franks and Philip playing as the Slavs. And then on the other team, we have Tigger playing as the Teutons and Mono is playing as the Persians. So two very or four very, very good booming sieves behind four good flank sieves. They actually oh use God, Mono's going ones. for three boars. Oh god. Okay, he's got it. He's got it, dude. He's got his his friend there. He's fine. Uh, still, I mean, how many villagers has he under TC nine? He's gonna get it, Ish. dude. He players are so good lead. at this now. Yeah, they're so good at this. Well, I saw a clip of Jordan. Oh so. <laughs> yeah, that was that was unfortunate for sure. See, look, just snipes him. Wow, dude, that was wow. like me on Apex. Just one shot, one kill, right? I mean, I'm in the Boris position, but <laughs> like oh silence. My God, the lies, the lies on this. The stream. lies. It's incredible. Yeah. It's yeah. incredible. Oh, well. I was dropping cool. frames. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clean lure. That is a clean lure indeed. It's a very yeah, clean that was lure. Awesome. There. Yep, but he's oh, still behind. Finally, mi walling the middle. Damn, I think there's so many Boris. Yeah, there there are so many extra boars, and we've actually reached a point where players don't go for the extra boars because there's too many, which is yeah, ridiculous. I've... Like you used to go for all of the extra boars, right? 
But um, now there's just so many of them. Like we can see in the middle here, there's nine of them. That's and crazy. Wow, a tower uh, men at arms rush here from FedEx playing as the Italians and Fangita. Fangita, he knew this was coming. So he's gone for triple layer palisade wall. That's smart. And he's going up. Uh, he went up on 23 pop and he's going to stone. So he should be able to defend this. I think this is going to be a little bit of a waste from FedEx. Yeah. Also, small fact, uh, Mr. Planner also managed to get three boars in at once, so mm -hmm. uh, props to him. And it's Valis going for the do or the dock from the other team. So the flank has come to the opposing pocket, and hmm. he's going to make a dock there because he is Malay, so his fish traps are going to be cheaper, and they're going to last longer. I guess the, the advantage for Valis on losing those two vills or whatever he lost is that he's Malay, right? So he mm. can just kind of stay in Dark Age a little bit longer and then go up, and he should be up in time. Uh, but still, Tato is going to be ahead with Japanese. Tato did not go for the pawn, so Valis will have that advantage over him eventually, but it's going to slow him down still. True. That's also a trapped gold for uh, Tato's team uh, to the right. It's kind of sad. Yeah. It's fine though. By the time they need that, yeah. they'll they'll get the trade up. And dude, that wolf can actually escape. I didn't realize that wolf, wolf can. To, yeah, yeah, he can. Yeah, yeah. But that That's wolf like, to the right can't. Dude, this feels like Jurassic Park base or something, doesn't it? Yeah, I would yeah. love to play this map Jurassic style. <laughs> <laughs> can we just got a wall up on the, the dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, the dinosaurs are coming in. <laughs> All right, Men at Arms oh. is now in from Tato as well, and Tato's gonna be pressuring this big wall. And, oh, Valis gets a house there at exactly the right moment. And Tato is going for it, and he's going to make stone walls on the other side of that. He's going to go for archers, so Valis can't repair for too long, although he is up to Feudal Age incredibly quick with Malay, and he's there in time to make some stone walls, so he should be able um, to stop this. And what is Tato's team talking about? They're saying... Yeah, but no space. Tigger says, house no armor. So he's telling Tato to attack the house, but I think Tato needed to kill another palisade before he could go in there because there was only one tile. So that's what he's ah, talking about. Ah, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Thanks for translating this. Yep. That's what I do. And <laughs> look at this. Monos is on the way to Castle Age. And FedEx is taking care of these palisade walls. And it looks like Monos is going to follow up with some knights and siege maybe uh, to help him get in there. But Fangita already has a tower, and he already has walls, and he's on the way to castle too. And he's probably going to get a castle of his own down here. So if they want to do any pressure here, I think FedEx needs to go fast in, which is doable with Italians. Get a castle of his own and treb that castle down from Fangita. Yeah, I wonder when uh, FedEx is going to build a mining camp on his gold. I mean, that's just a small detail. See? It's gold into market. <laughs> Classic. Gold into market, blacksmith. blacksmith. <laughs> yes. I oh love my it. god. <laughs> Next level. That man got to feudal age and realized he did not have anyone building buildings. <laughs> and he still doesn't have enough to go up, though. He's going to go for that mining camp now, so you're going to be happy about that. And he's still building up stone, too, so he's definitely thinking about a castle. And I would be very surprised if he didn't go for... Um, Fast tip. Yeah, this is the this is what I've seen a lot in this tournament. So you have the flank going for pressure, and then Valesa did this a lot actually in the previous games. He plays his pocket with a really good booming sieve, but instead of making the TCs, he goes stable siege workshop to help push in, and then he'll add in TCs later. Hmm. Whereas good, man. you I know, Mr. Planner. Black Forest meta. Yeah, it's it's really Very interesting, aggressive. actually. It is. And Mr. Planner is going for the classic approach, right? He's already got four TCs up, so he's going to have a better eco. But it's whether his ally can withstand the pressure. Probably ex Boobly player. Mm. It really, it looks like Boobly play here. <laughs> ex Boobly, HD, Game Ranger, etc. <laughs> MS Zone. <laughs> MS zone. Game Spy. Oh, that's that's oh, the Game real Spy. level that's of degenerate wow. right there. The yeah, juice Game of Spy. The juice. the juice of the juice. <laughs> VTEV, exactly. Game Park. We got them all up in here. Oh, man. Lovely. 
Good old IRC, time. right? Mm -hmm. That's where all the... Um, What's that left? <laughs> that's where the Latino lobby went. The Latino room that used to be on MSN Gaming Zone. I think they all went to IRC. But where was the Latina's room? It was on... Uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know where that one was. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, Tato's still trying to push in. And Tato's getting fletching. And he's kind of stuck in Feudal Age here. And Team Valis... It looks like Valis is going to hold here. And remember, Valis is playing as Malay. So as soon as he clicks up, he's going to be in Castle Age like instantaneously. And Tato is still working on that wall. And his yeah. pocket has gone for a boom. So Valis should be in a pretty good position here, honestly. After the it's early looking damage. better and better. Yeah. <laughs> as uh, Tato said, uh, is already dead. But yeah, doesn't look like it. Oh, Tato's going straight to Imp. I love this. They're not on voice. Yes, Tato is telling us exactly what strategies he's going for. Perfect. Keep I keep it up, it. Tato. Keep it up. <laughs> it helps us so much. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So that's why he's staying in Feudal Age there, because he wants to go straight to Imp. Um, unfortunately, Japanese do not get Bomber Cannon, so he's going to need a castle uh, to be able to push into Valis' base. And... Even though Valis will have a better eco than Tato with those fishing ships and with a better uptime to Castle Age, he's going to have problems because he has no room. He has no room. If they ever get into that like forward gold area, there's nowhere for him to go. I feel like he really needs a castle. He's also yep. gathering stone, so I assume he's going to go for a castle drop. Um, yep. Next to the mill, it should be perfect, actually. And Vegeta and FedEx on the other side. Vegeta already with Janissaries. We have FedEx going for a castle up there on the hill. And once the castle is up, FedEx, if he ever sells his 1,600 wood he has in the bank. Oh, my God. <laughs> and there we go. The sell-up has begun. He should be able to get close to clicking up to Imp with Italians. Wow. Terra te la sedio alla madera? Hmm. I agree you with him. You didn't butcher that at all. <laughs> Probably better than better than I would have done it though. Definitely better than Tristan would have done it. Karad Karad oh Del Ased Dio a la Madeira. That would be Jeez. Tristan right there. That's my Tristan <laughs> roleplay. Uh, sounds, sounds like, like some kind of Yeah, exactly. It actually does. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does. All right, so Tato's pushing in. Let's see what he can spot. He just knows about those berries right there. And Valus is... He almost has enough stone for a castle. And he's actually banking his gold, too. And with those fishing ships, the 14 that he has, decent food eco, he can think about clicking him, too. True. I love how FedEx uh, man are still alive in the castle. <laughs> hey, man, you got to get enough. value. Yeah, herbal medicine, maybe? <laughs> yeah, perfect. I, That'd be I would, sick. I would love to see that. Yeah. And look at the... Um, so look at the boom difference here between Monos and uh, uh, Mr. Planner. Since they couldn't get in against Vangita, since Vangita did such a good job repairing that um, and making the walls and whatever... No damage was done, and at the end of the day, that simply means that Monos is super far behind Mr. Planner. And Mr. Planner is already on the way to Imp. So he's mm, going to have Paladins on the field super quickly, with a great eco behind it. Yeah, Frank's Paladins. Yep. That's pretty neat. But uh, Monos did have the fishing uh, ships, the fishing economy, which Mr. Planner did not have. Yeah, true, but then you have Wallace with now a safe base of the castle, so he's not going to lose more ground. Um, should be fine, and he has a nice fish economy. Tato is going to imp, though. And let's see... Oh, Valis is going to click soon, and he's going to be an yeah. imp but, like, around the same time as Tato. Yeah, this is a great hold here from Valis, and I think a little I bit of... Uh... TC? Interesting choice from Valis. Well, he does have the fish, right? If he clicks up first, he's going to click up first and then start adding vills behind. You can't yeah. underestimate oh. the fish, man. With gill nets, they are so quick. Yeah, the They're better than a farm. Really nice. So Tato, I think, like, investing too much, maybe, into yeah. Feudal Age. Like, getting Fletching uh, in Feudal Age. Chat. <laughs> oh, into chat. Yeah, he's actually spending all his time in chat. That's fair. <laughs> 
Yeah, Tigger, now I'm going over the castle now. Two siege workshops, mm -hmm. three workshops. And he'll pro. Oh, we lost the vill to the wolf bullet. Oh, really? Oh, no loom. <laughs> no loom, <laughs> Tigger. <Nice. laughs> oh, rip. Villager oh. goes down. It's only one, though, and he's got 110 behind that. So uh, he'll be fine and he'll be able to recover from this. But uh, they're probably going to go into instant onager, try and make their way in there. But look at this the pocket already from Team Valis. We got Philip. Going with a castle in Valis's base. The problem over here, even though like they're that. in a good position, is going to be how far base. forward those golds are. And how small the base is. Yeah, it's just... It's all base now full of buildings. Well, it can still go to the left. So, I got, yeah, it should be fine. But still annoying. I wouldn't like that as a flank. Yep. But where else are you going to build, right? There's not many other places. Well, wait uh, for onagers and uh, kill some trees and then build you're up gonna the base You're going to like that as a flank? Your pocket <laughs> oh, waiting yeah, for totally. onagers so he can cut trees so he can place nice buildings? That, you're going to be like, perfect. oh, hell that's yeah. A, good <laughs> Love pocket. when my flank does that. Perfect, perfect. That's why I don't play Black Forest anymore. Mm. Because it always happened to me, obviously. All right, we've got Trebs from uh, FedEx, and man, he's going to have four Trebs working on that castle. But Paladin is already on the way from Mr. Planner. Paladin is yeah. incoming here. He's only got four stables, but he's adding a fifth one. And meanwhile, on the other side, Tato and Valis are matching out or against each other here with Treb v. Treb. And Tato has gone into Monk Tex. And our Teutons player is starting to add some Halberdiers, and he's already got the Onagers here, too. Mm-hmm. Man, the economy from Mr. Planner, it looks so gorgeous. It's really just mwah, just the choose. Yeah, it is. I the farms it. are set up nicely. He's yeah. got uh, all the houses away. He's got just the precise amount he needs on on wood, too. And, yeah. um, Mr. Planner can be my pocket, not Tristan, though. He knows how to plan a base. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Ooh, Onager's cutting through from Philip. But look at this. Tattoo already has block printing and redemption. And it's just Treb v. Treb at the front there. We really need Bombard Cannons on this side, but against the Monks, the Bombard Cannons aren't going to feel too good. Nope. And remember, Purple is pushing in on the other side. It looks like Tigger was thinking about cutting through the middle, but he simply cuts into the base from Valis. And on the other side, it's still kind of a stalemate, but not for very long. That's a lot of Trebs. A lot of Genoese Expo and a lot of Halberdiers and Rams behind this too. So, uh, that's Vangita needs something else, I think. He's got some Janissaries and, of course, he's got the Paladin from his uh, oh. pocket player. But the Bomber Cannons are really going to help. Okay, he's already got Bomber Cannons coming out. What is Philip doing with his villagers? Is he trying to do a quick fall of some sorts? I think he was. They're kind of stalled out there and the villagers are going to die and the siege comes in. See, he's getting ironclad too, so the Halberdiers are really going to struggle to take out these Onagers. <laughs> he can start cutting I... the trees for better building placements now. If you I True. think at the time has passed, though. Oh, great! Onager shots, oh my god. See you later, Halberdiers. <laughs> I think I'm slightly behind. I'm just going to quit. Full stop now, it's better. Okay, so Paladins now coming in and blocking the Halberdiers and the Janissaries are getting damaged behind. There are three Bomber Cannons behind from Fangita though. And this is going to be a difficult fight for Mr. Planner and Fangita. They can't really push through with the Paladin because of the Genoese Expo. They are not elite yet, which is something, but they're still shredding them. And they're, everything here is countering these Paladin. And Mr. Planner just goes in and he's going to try and snipe the Trebs. One Treb down, That's two Trebs straight. down, and there's just so many Paladin. The, the, the numbers, the, their numbers are just not there from uh, red and yellow. I mean, they have the counters, but Paladins are still so strong. Yeah, Paladins are still Paladins for sure. And on yeah. the other side, Team Valis actually defending quite well. They lost the, the forward castle, but the Siege Onager is in now from the Slavs. And he's going into champions now to counter uh, this stuff from the Teutons. But we all know that Teutons can... Uh, <laughs> Teutons have a unit <laughs> that can deal with that quite nicely. Thank you very much. True. True. All right. So where's the first cut going to go? Because I think it's going to be stalled out on both sides. 
I think they might take down one castle here, Vegeta and uh, Mr. Planner, but it's that, definitely going to be no assault on the other side. At the moment. They have no counter to the BBCs at the moment. Uh, are they going into anything? I don't see it. They're adding trade. I don't see any other counter. Yeah. They're going to lose one castle after the other. Now they push in, but there's still uh, lots of Janissaries and uh, Frankish Paladins. There's still uh, super mobility tanks, right? Oh, big Siege Onager shot there from Tigger. Taking out four from Philip. That was a great shot there as the champion research comes in. Elite Janissary on the way as well from Fangita. And it's only a matter of time before he starts adding in trade and adding in Bombard Towers too to solidify this position. And you're right. There's literally nothing that they have that can counter these uh, Bombard Cannons yet. Hmm. Got him tricky for now. They're still fine, but it's still a really slow push from green and blue. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's tough to go through that choke point, right? Yeah, yeah, it's three 100%. castles up there. It's going to be really difficult. FedEx also only one TC behind this. So he had that full fast imp economy, and he's really struggling to add anything other than Genoese Expo at the moment. That castle will certainly go down soon. Meanwhile, Teal and Val is pushing out. Val is trying to be very careful with his Arbalist to not get hit by these SO shots. And his ally, Philip is actually helping him out quite nicely. And now my question is, what really is Tato up to? Because all we see here is, uh, is Tigger. Tato only with a couple monks and some trebs. Yeah, that was his uh, whole goal, but he's now adding more economy. He really needs some more economy if he wants to switch to anything else than that. Big conversions could be important, but his ally is killing the Siege Onagers before he can convert them. And all the monks just got nuked. I still got one conversion and uh, killed with that uh, Siege Onager some of the Arbalests. But yeah, they definitely need a second player on this, this is, side. <laughs> this seems really bad here for Team Tato. Like, that was a great hold from Fangita to make the walls and uh, the tower and everything and just delay the Imperial Age. And look at how many Bombard Cannons he has though. He's got nine bullet. Nine Bombard Cannons. Damn. I don't think he has our... Oh, he does have artillery. Oh my goodness. And Elite Janissary, too, with Paladin. Wow. And a Siege Tower. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Paladin <laughs> just go in. The Paladin don't care about the counters. Look at this. They're just shredding those units. All yeah. these counter units for nothing. <laughs> yep. And Teutonic Knights now. The KP boys are on the field, even killing a boar with those. As he's still trying to get value with these Siege Onagers, but Tato is not really part of the game over here. And they can't stop the push. In the north here, Fajita with the ultimate composition. And he's soaking fire with that siege tower. It was just trying to blend in. It was just trying to be part of the part of the crew, you know? <laughs> and it dies for it. Ay, ay, ay. Dude, those bomber cannons are so satisfying the way they're lining up here just to attack. Uh, oh, God. The Turkish army in general is really cool. Like the yep. Hussars together with Chinese and bomber cannons. It's just one of the most fun combinations you can play in late game. Yep, you can add in cab archers if you really need to. You can add in bombard towers. It's just super tough. And yeah, FedEx lost all of his castles. Going for another one. Paladins from Mr. Planner. He's not taking any big fights. He's just kind of distracting the army in front while the Turks player comes up from behind. And the elite Janissaries are going to shred these halberdiers. Yeah, and Tato really needs to stop producing monks. They're for nothing. The Arbalest just sniped them. Well, I mean, That's, if he gets a couple conversions that can swing it, but it feels like he's in that spot where he, he can't make anything else. It's such an RNG thing. It's such yeah. an RNG thing. I really don't think it's the greatest of plans. Also, the course, uh, score kind of shows that. <laughs> but it's like he's in that spot. You know that spot, right? Where your eco is just he's getting up there, but it's not. You haven't teched in anything yet. So you're trying to think of the one thing that can help your team. And right now it's monks. And that's what he's doing. I'll, I don't know that spot because I'm no, uh, never the uh, lowest score in the game. You yeah, know? you don't make it this late in the game, I see. Yeah. Uh, wh <laughs> what? <laughs> Bullets already yeah, dead by the 42-minute mark. No, no, no. I already <laughs> You already <laughs> won. Yeah, ass. of course. <laughs> you did such an ass. Oh, man. But don't you worry, don't guys. My skills. He, he died, but he got 4v1. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> he got 4v1. That's why he died. The only reason. That's Mamacita. That's not me. <laughs> and, the, and the leg, too. Yeah, this game looks like it's kind of over, but yeah, it's super the push over. from the top is 
Unstoppable. Dude, fan Unstoppable. what is Fangita's like KD at the moment? I have to check this. Must KD be for Fangita is 294 to 36. Wow. What a pro, man. Oh my god. <laughs> so he good. is so mowing good. down army. This, yeah, FedEx is dead. FedEx is 100% dead. We've got uh, Tigger who can't really do much. Tato coming out for conversions. Valis has been on on point though, running away his siege before they get converted. I don't even know how many conversions Tato has gotten on these bomber cannons and siege onagers. Not many, that's for sure. Not and the slab infantry many. clearing and everything and else there, out. And then he got some decent shots with uh, siege onager, but it's just not enough. Yeah, and here's not the bomber enough. towers locking down this situation over in the north side, and yeah, Team Valis has won this one. Unless something remarkable can happen from but Team Tato. Remember, Tato sa uh, said Valis is dead. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm such a meanie. He, d he said, no, 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 Bullet. He didn't say he was dead. He said he was almost dead. <laughs> true, My man true. was on life support. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Tato, though, forgot that Valis was Malay. And, maybe. Uh, or maybe just didn't think about it. Losing two bills, you can make up for that. And damn, dude, that was a crazy performance from Team Valis and Fangita, especially. Like, what a great hold over there. Final KD for him 369 to 45. That is stupid. Final KD for Tato 20 and 43. <laughs> KD for Monos, 94 and 431. Oh my god. <laughs> he lost so much shit, man. You're getting bullied in this game. <laughs> that was a meat grinder over there. Oh my god, dude. And we oh, see man. the Fangita. You feed Fangita so hard. Fangita must be big fat now. Fangita Lovely. had 76 elite Genesaries produced. That feels really nice. Yeah, on 95 bills, any bomber towers. Yeah. All right, so good good performance there from Team Valis. I think Team Tato, uh, he, dude, 8.2 KD ratio. That is insane. That's actually insane. Team Tato kind of misjudged the situation uh, on both sides, and they thought they could go early pressure into the pocket follow-up, and it just wasn't there, and Team Valis was full-on defense. Played it a little bit more standard BF, right? And their pockets came through okay. big time. Oh my dear, it's so funny. I was like, uh, you're, not, you're talking a lot about stats, not about the actual game. And I noticed I'm just super behind. Are you that far behind? I'm still in the game, yes! Are you, are you using Capture Age? Yeah, I'm using Capture Age. Can you not, like, fast forward? No, that was the faster speed. I'm on eight times the speed, apparently. Oh, but your computer was kind of bugged, sucks. I guess. No, my computer doesn't suck. What the <laughs> fuck? No. <laughs> Why? Stop. <laughs> Stop what? Yes, I live. Yeah, I'm a Swiss guy. I live on the mountain. I, I, come on, shut up, guys. <laughs> Even your chat is not bullying me. Mm. Well, that's what we do. Obviously, the Swiss guy has to live on a mountain. <laughs> You should stop uh, mining for crypto in the background. Or no, yeah, you, yeah, you wouldn't sure, be mining sure. for crypto. You probably, <laughs> probably, your computer would probably be making like chocolate I'm more into or something. NFTs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be producing chocolate in the background for the, for the Swiss government. That's yeah, what I'm you'd out, be doing. Man. I'm out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumb. <laughs> McDonald's Wi-Fi? Exactly. <laughs> Hey man, that's my life. <laughs> Does anyone have a Civ draft for me? Anybody? Because I can't find it. I'd love to see their Civ draft if possible. If there is a Civ draft here. Maybe it's all you can pick. Finglefin, Fat Slub from Sweden. Phoenix, thank you guys for the sub. Smelly, thank you for the prize. Smelly, thank you for the prize. Snippy, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you, thank <laughs> okay. you, thank you. Thank so you thanks. for the follows, guys. How Yo, was your up? day so far? Well, I just woke up about 30 minutes before this, so it's, um, we're doing okay. Mm. But just okay, you know? Just okay? Yeah. Are you a little bit sad? Why? I'm sure I'm there's a reason asking. why you, no, I'm not that sad. No, no. Just, okay. Are you maybe a little bit mad? Mad? 
Mm -hmm. I'm furious, dude. I'm furious 24-7. Yeah. Wow. You're, you're a real gamer, huh? Yeah. I'm just mad all the time. Lag, yeah. you know, hacks, cheats. That's wow. what my opponents use to try to take me down. But they can't Apex? at the end of the day. Every game. <laughs> Every game. Every I game. See. I'm always against a hacker. Every <laughs> single game. Okay. Okay. I see. Uh, by the way, you have to do uh, some recordings for me. I will send you... Um, a Swiss text, and you have to read it, um, record it, and send it to me, okay? Because uh, <laughs> next Friday will be the Swiss cost. Oh, okay. I thought this was like personal reasons. Like, Bullet, oh, no, you're the no. best. You're the best ever. I, I love you so much. And then you'd like listen to it on sad days. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. It's just for the Swiss <laughs> cost. You, you're going to make the intro, you know? The intro? Do I read it in like Swiss German? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's going to be good. So I have the draft now. Um, I can actually link it. Uh, for game you. has started, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we're in a delay though. We're in a countdown, I think. Right? It's the final countdown. All right. Schweizer Deutsch uh, cast. Yeah, it's a Schweizer Deutsch cast. That's true. Yep, yep, yep. Sw that sounds just weird. Swiss German sounds, yeah, that's Swiss German cast sounds so much better than Swiss Dutch cast. <laughs> oh my, this is gonna be so good. Looking <laughs> <laughs> uh, forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> All this right, match so final or semi final? No, it's the small final. The yep. final about the third place. Yep, that's why I got bullet in here. <clears throat> because I'm small. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Are you actually taller than me? A little bit, maybe, huh? I don't remember. Maybe yes. Hawk, it felt like yes. we were on the same height, eyes-wise. We'll find a picture of both of us. Yet, you have really nice eyes. Thank you. Because I still remember them. Yeah. I also remember your hugs. I'm really my, attached you, to you. You have really warm hugs, Bullet. I like it. Oh, yeah, man. I have yeah. the warmest of hugs, man. Yeah. Very, like, I'm welcoming. A... You're a mm. warm hugger. I'm a super warm hogger. <laughs> <laughs> you can put that on like your resume or something. Yeah, Real totally. warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Do they know that you're listening? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, question. dude. It doesn't <laughs> welcome to the party, bro. <laughs> All right. So uh. the game the game's launching here. <clears throat> and we'll uh we'll get into it and we've got team valis against team tato this is game number two of the third and fourth place match here and uh over on this side we have tato against valis once again in the south right. looks like tato has got himself a pawn this time and it's a little bit more closed off than it was before but this is a prime position for valis to come forward once again uh, it's not true they switch colors Oh, oh, Fangita this yeah. time. Okay, Valis is in the green. That, okay, thank you for letting me know. That That just tripped me you're up. You're very time. welcome. I'm a pro co-caster. Don't worry. Yep. That's why you're here. Oh, that's, that's so unlucky for, for Valis. Look in the south. <laughs> How is this possible? Stone, gold, and four boars. <laughs> that's, oh my god, that, that's so frustrating to see, man. That's just not fair. What the hell? Villager fights on both sides, though. We got FedEx coming in hot with the Lithuanians, and he's fine to send forward these villagers because he has that extra food that he can produce from his TC. So he's going to send these guys YOLO style, and he's going to be up against Teutonic Tanks, who's been subbed in here. It's nice to see Teutonic Tanks uh, making things work, and both boars now being brought in from him. So he's scared of the lame. Um... And he can't stop FedEx from laming his berries. Or and look at where his all his golds and stones are. Oh my FedEx God. could lame everything here, dude. What the hell is that? That's just not nice. No, it's very much not nice. Yeah, it's and, very mean. And in the south, it looks like uh, Tato actually lost his eagle, and Tato's gonna lose a vill now. And Tato is in trouble here against our Portuguese player. He's sending Vils forward to try and deny this wall. And we've got Fangita. Oh, doing a great job. But Tato manages to batter his way through that weak one. Fangita going to try and place a 
Palisade Foundation behind this. He really wants to lock this down, but it's so difficult for him. Yeah, oh man, such good teamwork there between Tigger and Tato to keep that open. All right, in the north, FedEx still laming. Still laming. Such a Bull meanie. Mm -hmm. Just bullying. Hey, I'm still here. I was just typing something in chat, so I muted me for a second. Yep. Don't worry. There's four deer now dead. The berries are, are lame. Both the boars had to be brought in at the same time for Teutonic tanks. And now FedEx is walling him uh, off from his ally, Valis. That's so annoying, man. You cut off from yep. your uh, allies. It's yep. pretty much a death sentence. Well... Fortunately for Valis and Teutonic tanks, they, it is still wide open <laughs> in the north. True, so true. <laughs> it's uh, not the worst thing in the world. And now uh, Teutonic tanks has the villager advantage, so he's going to keep attacking that one. And they all have their scouts around here. FedEx and Mono's trying to get something done. Mono's still with a lot of HP on that scout. The scout from Teutonic tanks goes down, and FedEx still has villagers alive. So things are looking decent. Meanwhile, on the other side, Fangita. Goes for a lumber camp forward so he can support that wall. It is still open though, in two separate places in the middle between these two teams. Oh, I feel for Titanic tanks. You're like, you start in this game, like, oh, I have a double lake, great base, nice. Yeah. Bohemians. This thing is happening. Yeah. And you're like, oh my god, why, 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 really? <laughs> this is why you go for Lithuanians on the flank though, so you can do this, this stuff at the beginning um, and send your villagers forward without worrying about your food eco. Like, if we look at idle TC time for FedEx, only 31 seconds with all this stuff going on. So, Same. it's been pretty good start. Granted, uh, only well, like 21 seconds of idle TC yeah. time for Teutonic tanks as well. So, Funk impressive stuff there. Funkita with 119, though. Wait, wait. Are you just gonna what get, happened in the south? Are you going to get progressively worse with the pronunciation of... A Fangita or Fanhita? Fang no, it's probably Fanhita. It's, it's probably pronounced like that. I'm pretty sure, man. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's probably the J becomes like an H sound, right? He's yeah. bringing in three boars, and he's already got two under the TC. So his Fudiko should be fine, but he's at 16 vils right now. Mm, Tato behind him, though, in villager count. True. Oh, Fangita. Oh! Oh, he actually hopped Boy, in there. Yeah, and now that boar is stuck. They're harvesting the carcass on top of the other boar. Oh, now I he's walking it. away. He, he didn't want, he didn't like that. <laughs> he didn't like that at all. How much HP? Okay, only a couple of hits away from death. He's going to let him go. 16, nope. 13. No, look, look. Oh my God. How, what's the rate of Fangita? Uh, He's a BF player, dude. He's a well-known BF player. I don't know what his rating is. I don't think he was... I think he was, like, maybe third round on the draft for players. I don't think he was, like, fourth. He killed it with the TC? Oh, no. Oh, no, he did. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Blind casters, indeed. Uh, is it a pause for you, too? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pause. Good, good. So we can kind of really analyze scared. what's going on here with FedEx. He tried to wall in the stone, didn't work. He tried to wall in the other stone, didn't work. He's got three villagers all week still running around uh, Teutonic Tag's it base. It's so dumb. <laughs> and uh, is he about to click up? No, he's not. And remember, Teutonic Tanks will have access to these two pawns over here. Or maybe, maybe you give that to, like, your ally, right? He needs the wood to defend because there comes yeah. a barracks up for FedEx, so... Maybe you yeah. X this for your ally. I wonder if you can actually send fishing ships between those two ponds. Mm. I think I that's think so, like... Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You should pass through. Yeah, I, I think that's technically like the... No, it's not the same pond. A super pond? It's a super pond. Oh, oh, let's call it the twin pond. It's the omega pond. The <laughs> omega... Sure. Yeah, I'm fine with that, actually. Yep. Oh! On the right side, there's a relic, a relic bucked into into the forest. That's you really like this, sad. don't you? Yeah, there's a beer on the right side as well, and he's like no place. It's he's a gonna beer. Starve there. What's the alcohol percentage on this beer? Oh shit! I'm so bad at uh, at pronouncing stuff, man. Mm, it's a bear. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a bear. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's that? It's um... so good at finding secret forests and things. Yeah, that's why I have yeah. him in here, dude. <laughs> at least yes. I'm something good at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he continues. Okay, Tato says, I'll try to get better wall versus gray and then delay goth. I think it's fine if you guys don't wall yet. They won't rush. Blue is super behind. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Not again. Blue is super behind. Come on, Tato. Didn't you learn last game? Oh my god, good quick walls there from FedEx. Saving the Vils Damn. again. As uh, Teutonic Tanks tries to wall him in. And he's he's actually got that villager stuck. Yep. Yeah, and also the militia you know, uh, are not going to help. But look at, look at all the... Dude, the worker efficiency for Teutonic Tanks is probably... It's just so bad. Like, he's walling in this stuff. He's attacking the berries to get some extra food access. Uh, his he can't take his deer over here. They're rotting away. He should save up the wood for a dog. Uh, well, yeah, nah, he probably needs the berries. Mm -hmm. All right, FedEx bring in some extra boars now to get his food eco rolling. He's sitting at 24 villagers. We got 23 over there for Teutonic tanks, and I see militia. So it's gonna be a. Right, where are those militia going? It's gonna be a men at arms, maybe tower push here for Fangita. Fen. Fen Fangita. 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 No, Fangita. What? Can we call him Fajita? Oh no! The Tanny Tanks! No! <laughs> Please stop it! Oh god! He tried to learn <sighs> those pores. I was wondering where you were looking at and he lost the Ville. Oh, that's and the last thing and now they follow. go back! <laughs> oh, and he, he lures with that Ville. No, don't oh, go for the second no. one! <laughs> In it! Okay, he's blocking now with the villager. Oh, oh man. It was an accident, actually. So nice to see you into the game, uh, Teutonic Tanks. So great to see you again, buddy. Uh, this is a struggle for him. Oh, no, oh, bullet! No. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm so scared. Oh, my God. That was that would have been absolute disaster. He's sitting at 26 yep. bills. FedEx is at 29. I mean, he is bohemian, so if they get late enough into the game, maybe it's a factor. But he's still got vills to contend with inside of his economy. Over here, we have the, the militia, soon to be men at arms, working on the wall. So they're going to be into Tato. And remember, Tato told his, his allies to not wall because they won't push. Remember that? Yep. Fuck and now he's going to be the one that needs a wall mm -hmm. as he goes for a counter tower here. It's not looking good for him. Well... well it uh, the tower actually got up just in time, and that's going to target true. the men at arms and give him time to wall. Mm -hmm. There comes the dock for Teutonic tanks. Good boy. Yeah, it was. That's going to bring him back into the game, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. He's, he's sending <laughs> 10 bills to a straggler tree right now. I think things are still pretty. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> things are still looking pretty bad over there for the Bohemians. We got FedEx wandering around with an extra bill. I think. Is he going to, like, wall this Ville from Teutonic Tanks in? No, he's going to the open area in between Mr. Planner and Valis. We should look at Valis' eco as the Mongols. Um, he's actually up later than other players, which I'm surprised by. I guess he didn't have many extra boars. Um, and he's got really closed off base back here, so we'll see what he goes for. Does he go for the super boom into Mangadai? We don't yeah, know probably. yet. Ooh, bear. That makes sense. Cast Ledge, Mongols, and Black Forest? Nah, don't do that. Bear versus uh, the forward villager here from FedEx, but he should be able to wall her in. Yep, and he goes for his stable. Meanwhile, in the middle, walls from both players. Monos with the house wall, super house wall, and no villagers sneaking in there from Team Valis. Meanwhile, on the top side, or sorry, bottom. Yeah, Fangita lost all of his men at arms. Yep, losing all the men at arms and. Mr. Planner now going to lose that villager. You can if you want here, says Tato. I don't know what he's talking about. Is his microphone broken or something? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this team just isn't on voice. Maybe Tato isn't on voice with them. We don't know yet. Oh, no. Two Tony tanks. Your second four. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Every time I check on two Tony tanks, something happens. Just something bad. He's got the fishing eco rolling. FedEx is already on the way to Castle Age. And Teutonic <laughs> Tanks has not clicked up to Feudal yet. <laughs> but Valis has seen the stable. He has seen the stable from FedEx. Valis uh, does not have looms. So that scout could actually... 
And that Sable could actually be very dangerous. That's Castle. I'm not sure about the Castle, man. Oh, okay, now it's a quick walling it. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's going to get that up, and he's going to go into Megadite production in immediately upon re reaching Castle Age to deal with this stuff. Looks like Teutonic Tanks is now walling the center area. Um, at the bottom here, we have it, the Tower War still in ongoing here between Tato and Fenjita. And Fenjita will be able to kill a villager, but Tato has managed to stall this out. And I think Tato, with Aztecs once again, is going to be going for some faster Imperial play or some Siege Monk push. Because you really don't want to boom up with them, right? Siege Onager feels nice, but other than that, you don't have many options. Yeah, but overall, it's uh, looking much better for Tato's team, uh, team also because they have uh, two pawns and they're using it. Meanwhile, Teutonic Tanks also started to use it, but there are only five fishing boats yep. out yet. And the other uh, the other team has already fished out their, uh, their lakes. Hey, if they ignore him for like 10, 15 minutes, he could be very dangerous with Bohemians. Okay. Can you explain to me why Monos is not using the shorefish? Instead, goes for instant traps? Uh... Because one has five and the other has 33. Ah. Well, it's still 48 <laughs> fish, I mean. I mean, yeah, and use, use it, that. I mean. <laughs> There's no reason to not use that. I think he just wants it's... to get his eco sorted, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. And Tigger yeah. with Sicilians is coming forward here with a, with a siege workshop. He's going to get a Mangonel and he's going into the... Another dock on that pond, so he's going to have a good eco with Sicilians, and Sicilians are a dangerous sieve. See, Jonager, uh, you can get First Crusade for all those sergeants. You can get Halberk for your Cavalier, and they take less bonus damage, too. It's just such a good sieve uh, if you, you know, in the early Imperial Age stage, anyway. Later on in Imp, they kind of fall off, but <clears throat> early on. What do you think really, about really the night production of FedEx? I think he was just trying to get something going. And he's going to annoy Mr. Planner for sure. Uh, and he yeah, can actually loop but... around and kill the siege for Mr. Planner, but... Yeah, but um, Valos will just send his Manganize and kill them, so... Yeah. It's, it's kind of, like, weird considering the fact that Monos... Oh my god, this is going to be close. <sighs> okay, the Knights will make trouble. Yeah, okay. Knights that are was in. a bit bad reaction from uh, Mr. Planner. I guess he's got a cumin ally, right? So he's just trying to delay as much as he can. He's already delayed blue. He's delayed green, forcing Valis into that castle. And uh, his cumin ally is at 61 vils with 21 fishing ships. That is an insane boom from Monos. That is unbelievable, dude. That is such a good boom from him. Yeah, huge, huge. Yeah, and the knights are really doing damage, man. Yep. Forcing all this stuff out. And he forced out a monastery, too, for Mr. Planner. And so the Goths are going to be delayed. The Mongols have already been delayed. The Bohemians are certainly been delayed. As uh, Teutonic Tanks is just now on the way to the Castle Age. Let's check up over here with Fangita. He's getting to Castle Age soon. He has to contend with Mangonels, though. And uh, Tato is on the way to Castle Age as well. Yep. Just boom Kef now? Is he talking about himself? No, he's Aztecs. He's talking about his pocket. That makes yep. sense. Or he wants to convert a stable and boom Kev. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, I saw the Aztecs convert, or maybe it was Incas, I don't know, it was one of them, convert an archery range in this tournament and then produce a Cav Archer. It was like the <laughs> weirdest bug I've ever seen. I, I don't know if the Cav Archer was like still in the queue, but it popped out from the Aztec Archer range. It was so weird. All right. So third TC here for FedEx. So he's going to boom up a little bit behind this. The boom is insane for his pocket. 80 villagers, 21 fishing ships. Also 85 villagers, 16 fishing ships for Tigger. And meanwhile, on the other side... Only 70 vils for Valis and only 68 vils for Mr. Planner. This seems like Tato's team is so far ahead at the moment. Yeah, it's a big difference. But Teutonic uh, Tanks is catching up. And he's not even the lowest score. And look at Mato's yeah. Xing. Is he saying, like, let's cut through there? 
He's on the way to Imperial Age already, and he's going for a Siege Workshop. He's definitely going to cut there. Definitely. Hmm. Yeah, those are some early markets there from Tata. Yep. They're already getting them set up here. That's there's, really early. There's a beer there, too, so... Yeah, two beers, actually. Yep. Big, fat beers. Yeah, man. Extra I love large. some big, fat beers. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my co-caster uh, chat. He's been weird for his entire life and he will continue to be weird for the rest of Probably. his life and that's why I love him. Okay, Mangadai coming over here to clear this up. Fangita is still struggling, but now that the Mangadai are here, he can kind of not worry about that tower and focus on his eco a little bit. They're going to clear up this Mangonel. They'll clear up the second one. They won't really be able to get into Tato's base, though. And look, Purple's already on the way to Imp. Yellow's already on the way to Imp. No Imperial Age is coming in for Valis's team. And if Valis's team loses this, they've used Mongols here. And they've used Bohemians here, too. So those are two very, very good civs to yeah. go down in a loss. It's also all thanks to FedEx, I would say. Yep. FedEx has been uh, very annoying. He very probably annoying learned indeed. that in chess. <laughs> what? You you wall people's berries in in chess? Blitz game, you know? <laughs> yeah. Do you ever Have you ever lamed a deer in chess? What oh, would be the chess times, equivalent yeah. to that? <laughs> what do you even um, know? Flagging, I guess. Yeah, flagging what? would be probably considered what, as uh, flagging? laming. What yes. is that? Uh, that's when you uh, when you're ahead in time, and so you just uh, make fast moves that are not really good, but you win anyway because your opponent is so long time. Oh, so that's like MBL's win condition then. Pretty much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's MBL's strat right there, man. You just said that. All right, Onager is in in three seconds here. Romanos Onager is now in, and he's going to start the cut. And this is going to be right inside of poor Teutonic Tank's base. Sicilian Cavalier going to be in there. Or no, so sorry, not Sicilian Cavalier. Um, Cavalier from the Cumans are going to be in there. Sicilian Cavalier is coming in right now for Tigger, and Halberk is coming in as well. Oh, the walls from Teutonic Tank's, will they be up in time? No, oh, it's because it's gonna be close. No, dude, it's not even gonna be close, dude. Is it? I think so. No, it's gonna be super close. Look, he's slow. Monos is slow. He's old. Monos what? is old. How old is? It's Monos? not even gonna be close, dude. Is it? Oh my god, he sent he sent the bar and he sent so many vills. But it is close. Oh, but they're in. <laughs> they're in, dude. They're in, and the walls are denied from Teutonic tanks. Poor Teutonic tanks. Paladin is on the way for Mr. Monos, and that's a lot more dead villagers. He's got the fishing eco here, but that's about to be cleared up by the other cut in the north. And uh, these Cavalier are going to wreak havoc all over the base. we got Perfusion coming in from our Goths player, so the infantry spam will start soon. But he's going to be spamming infantry against Sicilians. Yeah, um, imagine being Teutonic Tanks. I would be dumb with this game. I'm like, yeah, okay, fun tournament. I, I, I stop playing. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm yeah, dumb yeah. with this shit. <laughs> you sub me in for one game. One game's enough. I think I'm good. Oh, yeah, no. Exactly. Oh, my wrist. Oh, my wrist. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> I think uh, he's going to go down with, uh, with a hamstring injury or something <laughs> here. <laughs> Uh, real spam, man. All right, so lots of halberdiers. The goth spam is real. Lots of halberdiers coming, and of course, Mangadai on that side. But the question right now, as that push kind of gets stalled out uh, in the north, is how are they going to counter the stuff to the south? With well, the Sicilian there's nothing Cavalier. really yet. Uh, just lots of stone walls, and they might end up fine, I guess. If yeah, well, still Van Giet is also pretty behind. Yep. Yes, he is. He's got 78 vills. He's going for barracks now, but he's still not on the way to Imperial Age. Hmm. Paladins, Paladins. Cut is coming in. The cut is coming in. Sicilian Cavalier trying to run in here. Good gates there. From Fangita, but you, they can simply cut the trees here. Yep, and that's exactly yeah, what they do. Easy. Another gate? Oh, oh my god. Oh, yi 
yikes. They're, they're not going to be able to block that. Not at all. And here come the Cavalier and the... The Goth Halberdiers are going to be doing less against these because they take less bonus damage. And there's always the opportunity for Tigger to go into uh, First Crusade as well. You wait till you're pop cap. You wait till you're at like 200 pop. Or did they change that? I feel like they might have changed that. Hmm. Where you don't get the extras on top anymore. I'm surprised that they didn't resign yet. Okay. I mean... Is this game winnable? I, I don't think I, so. Well, I'm any game... Sides and... <laughs> Listen, any game where you have Mongols is probably winnable. Uh, but it's going to be very, very tough, right? Valis is just trying to build up his Magnite count. He's got 37 right now. Mongols and Goss, yeah. pretty deadly combo. But both your flanks are dying. And that's the issue. And there are also so many Paladins. And you need to micro your Magnites. You don't really need to micro your Paladins, right? And there's the infantry upgrade for Tigger, so he's thinking about First Crusade soon. Megadai is still doing work. Valis has 38 of them. He's getting Onager now. And we still have 83 villagers for Teutonic Tanks and 16 fishing ships. And he's going into Halbs, so... Yeah, but I'm looking for Hita Space. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm looking for the bright side for Team Valis. Okay. This is the definite bad. This is the dark side. Literal Darth Vader music <laughs> down here because it is looking grim. But at, at the north, I mean, they have Mangadai, and they're going to have Hufnitsa, and they're going to have Bohemian Halbs against Paladin Skirmishers. So, not the worst yeah. thing in the world. Beers would help. Beers would help. Yep. Yep. Tato now on the way to Imp. What is Tato really? Tato just defended, I guess. He's like telling his Pretty he's much. spending all his time in chat, dude. He's already got dude, he's already got trade set. He's got 27 trade. <laughs> <laughs> he's not doing anything in this game. Was he like, slinging? Come on. Uh, I don't see check. anything. No, no, I didn't. Dude, he's, he's just I don't He's know, booming. Man. What the hell? <laughs> he has a really weird approach to those. He's uh, going to the Eagles games. now. Yeah. Tats has been a bit of the the weak link uh, two games in a row here for it's his true. team. Well, he's in GL for a reason, right? Yep. Being the weak link. I love how he switched to Spanish now. He's not messing around. <laughs> he's not messing around at all. All right, Hufnitsa, Hufnitsa is on the way for blue. We got Drill on the way here for Valis. If they can, like, fall back and hold at the goth base. I mean, Fangita's base is... Not reclaimable at this point. He's saved 67 villagers somehow. Uh, and he's moved a few of them over to Mr. Planner's side. If they can hold in the south, they will be able to push back in the north. I'm so behind in this game again, by the way. Dude, That's it's fine. Too, I feel like it might be like a capture age setting for Ram or something like that. Uh, maybe it's... Uh, I should really put the game uh, on the SSD. Yeah, that would yeah. help, probably. Probably. Yeah, I need to change that. It's still on the HTD. HTD? Yeah, HTD. Hufnitsa looking for big shots, and only skirmishers here for FedEx. Only skirmishers here for our Lithuanians player. If you could go into latest, that would be great. Hmm. Halberdiers here versus Sicilian, Sicilian Cavalier. They'll still trade efficiently. But not as efficiently as they would if it was a different sieve. And the final infantry armor upgrade coming in. So first crusade maybe on the way. Got one sergeant out. Is that elite? I can't even select it, bro. Oh my god. Is it an elite sergeant? It is. That's still one less player, right? Because Fangit is pretty much dead, and Tato uh, just reached in here for me. Well, for you, probably already one minute. So it's gonna be tough. Don't underestimate Mongols, Bohemians, especially when Fedex yeah, but... insists on stacking up his skirms here. I'm not they saying they're gonna win. Hold there. Uh, just, they just have to hold up the north, and they're fine, yeah. pretty much, right? So. I mean, they also can't have really any trade, so they're gonna uh, starve from gold. Yeah, that is true. That is true. They're gonna need to well, make something happen the, here. The extra gold to the left could help. 
Vnitsa getting big shots against the skirmishers. Trash units there, not making things happen, and the Magadai are pushing them back along with the Halberdiers. Monos can't really do much here with just the Paladin. And look, Monos has set his markets up in front of Tata's markets. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> got a market wall. He's like, yeah, you can go around. That's fine. <laughs> Ooh, good snipes there from Monos to come in with the Paladin and try and kill all these if needs. Uh, will he be able to get them? The Bohemian Halves are pretty strong. He gets three of them, and that means that FedEx can start pushing back here with the skirmishers, and they're simply holding. That's what they need to do, and here come the sergeants from the other side. Uh, from Tager, and Tager is going to be pushing into the goth base. Sergeants feel pretty good against goths. Feel they're pretty neat. good, and what? Fanjita still has eco in the south. He's it's hanging true. on. He's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding, bro. He's rebuilding. The complex is real. Come on. He's full rat mode. <laughs> yeah, it's not real space to reboom, but... No. There's a chance. Alright, Magadai sniping the Paladin, but like you said, all they need to do is hold up here. And that's exactly what FedEx is doing with these skirmishers. And look at FedEx going into docks now to secure that pawn. He's going to make sure they can hold this completely. And he's going to go into war galley. Soon to be galleons in this pond. And that's going to be so tough to push back. And Valis is uh, into the trade. He's cut through. He's cut through. That's right through the pass. middle here. Bad. And he's killing Combat? so much trade. And I, I wondered where all the Magadai numbers were for him. They're here, and I don't think Team Tato has noticed this. Now they signal it a bazillion times. Got a castle there for Monos, but the trade numbers are going down. Magadai are so dangerous. Still, the Goth player getting shredded here by the Sicilians. Eco is falling, and the Bohemians player, Teutonic Tanks, still having problems. And even though they're wiping up the trade from Team Tato, there is barely any trade from Team Velas. Yeah, and also super uh, inefficient. Yep. Oh god. So it's the, the, the problem it really is in Black Forest, when you don't have room, it's, it's so hard to make a comeback, even if you kill all the trade. Yep. And now Tato's finally into the game here, with some uh, eagles. Yeah, finally right into the, the game. Middle. I haven't seen him sending anything. So he went into that super trade boom early, just to go eagles with Aztecs, seems a bit weird. Maybe he sent res. Maybe I didn't notice it. Hmm. Eagle are so great versus Mango Die. That's true, I like. You're a smart person. Not Aztec Eagles, though. Aztec Eagles kind of get shredded by Mango Die. Mayan Eagles are decent. Unless you Eagles forgot some decent. upgrades. They're still doing oh, okay-ish. Right. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're gonna... Th to go Eagles. There's, there's only, there's only two bases left for Valis and, and Teutonic Tanks, and half of Teutonic Tanks' base is now taken up by these Galleons. So, Team Valis is really, really in a rough spot. And now the Magnetai forward pressure has been cleared, and I think it's time maybe for them to Call think the about the GG. Yeah. <laughs> Although, look at Fajita in the south. He's expanding his eco in that base. No way, man. <laughs> it looks lovely. It does. Actually He's peaceful. <laughs> that's just one of those things where if you're Tager and uh, Tato, you're going to look back there later in the game when he starts pushing out and be like, what? <laughs> He's still there? I thought we killed that. Oh, Real God. Right gameplay. Mr. Planner's dead, though. Oh, yeah. Well, it's still villagers. Two, C's, two C's to the west, so he should be fine. He if still he has jump. wood and gold. He's just missing the food. He's got zero on food right now with Goths. Uh, uh, it's very much rip, but yep. I still believe. Yep, Paladins from Monos trying to deal with the Magadai, but there's two Siege Onagers there. Uh, that's that's a strong position for Valus. They need some SOs there. Oh, but what are the Mango Dice doing? He does have SO there, and he's ripping the Paladin as they come into that choke point. Yeah, I meant they need uh, uh, SOs to defend there. But, or just build a castle. Then it's also fine. 
Dude, this is so nervous for Monos here. Trying to go in, and he snipes. He snipes the SO on that oh, side, and Tato coming the from the other side. <laughs> big shot down the Eagles. Where was it? Yeah, well, you, you saw it, actually. Oh, did I? Yeah, because I'm costing your street. Ah, <laughs> I see. So I'm not behind anymore. What's the I'm blind. <laughs> I'm super blind then. I'm super, super blind. Yes, you are. Well, GG's called. Team Tato and uh, Team Valis 1-1 now. Tato's team doing a lot better there. Uh, I wonder what Tato's thought process was. He was like, he's spending all his time in the chat, Bullet, telling his team what to do. He's not spending any time really playing himself, but he did uh... manage to hold against the pressure from Vegeta and managed to get those walls down, which meant his team was in a good position. I think the, the MVP there goes to FedEx, though, for distracting three players at the same time. And still being a factor later on in the game. Great. Um, I'm gonna try something else now. I'm gonna try to cast the game with just uh, with just uh, in inside Age of Empires without mm. capture rage. Maybe then I'm not that behind. I think there's like there's settings. If you go to there should be like um, limit to 60 FPS is probably a good one. I don't know if you have that enabled. Yeah, um, well, I'm adjust check. GPU memory used with normal graphics. So you can adjust that. So there's like a bunch of stuff to make it run smoother. Because Capture Age is a super beefy program. Damn, maybe my PC is really not good enough. I also have Capture Age. Uh, it, it runs smooth, but I'm just behind. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. All right, Limit so to 60 FPS is done. Valis had a good KD there with Mongols, but it didn't help him out at all. Vegeta really couldn't get anything done at, at, since the early pressure was stalled out. Tager with a great KD with Sicilians. Such a strong civilization. And we look at the eco here. The eco from Monos was insane. We mentioned that earlier. Feudal Age boom uh, with fishing ships. I think he had like 20 plus fishing ships there behind. Gets into Castle Age. Goes immediately for two extra TCs. And he was so quick to get Onager Cavalier and cut into Teutonic Tanks as base. Poor Teutonic Tanks. <laughs> He was just trying to make something happen. And it, it, oh, he, he, you know what? He dragged himself back into the game and he got 172 villagers, apparently. Um, Still, at the max, just, it's just, it's just a bullet in this game, man. Yeah. If you have a map like this and you're like, oh, okay, well, an easy game, super strong boom, double dock, something like that, and you just steamroll everyone. But no, FedEx just bullied him. Yeah. The whole game. He, Lithuanians is not the civ you want to be up against in a position nope. like that. Not at really all. Really not. Really not. I send all the vills forward. All right. So lost for the Bohemians, the Goths. We lost with the Portuguese. And then, of course, the Mongols. Those are Bohemians, Mongols. That's pick one and three for Team Valis that they just lost with. So. Ouch. Yikes. That really, yeah. really hurts. Win for the Lithuanians. Mm. Win for but the But they win Aztecs. with some lower tire, uh, tiers before. So, yep. Uh, it's kind of okay. Yep. I mean, the, uh, Team Tato also lost uh, with their first pick, so. Yep. I'm surprised their first pick was Teutons. Strange. It's pretty strong. I mean, resistant to monks. They have the Teutonic Knight. Oh. Bullets in the texture. They, right have, they have SOs, you know. Also, the Paladins, which are super slow, but with extra melee armor. Yep. No husbandry. So, no, no yeah, German. It's not husbands. needed because on nope. um, Black Forest, the enemy can't escape. Uh, this is on the uh, the old patch. O oh, empires. This is not on the Indians patch. Simply because most of this tournament was played with previous balance. So whenever we get like a new patch, basically what we do is we we go into the previous build just to finish up the tournament, and then future tournaments will be played on the new patch. Um, just to make it, we, we don't, number one, we don't know what kind of bugs are involved. No one really knows the meta. Um, there's balance changes on the old civs as well. The maps aren't made, aren't scripted for this type of thing. So we, uh, we always stick to the original version that the tournament was started on. Okay. 
I see the game, and I think I'm in the yes. countdown now. I'm also in the countdown. Perfect. <laughs> but Tony th Tanks doesn't play. <laughs> Yeah, well, like I said, he pulled the hamstring. <laughs> you know what? He's, you know what? He's, he's on the day-to-day -day injury list, and uh, they're gonna see if they can put him back in at a later date. I mean, uh, well, my man is is hurt. He is wounded. Okay, casualties Emotionally and are physically. part of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When is the next RBW? Well, I don't know. Red Bull Wallalo? Yes, yeah, someone is. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> 40 seconds on the spec countdown. What happened to Hidden Cup? It's hiding. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's hidden. <laughs> no, I'm out of here. Oh, it's hidden that. on Facebook. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 you, you since you're a full-time streamer listen every you, day you're a bit a little bit more like t90 man i swear to god man <laughs> oh no dude every day mm. a part of dave gets lost yep. and the, uh, yeah dead yeah left to die yep. literally shot oh. jokes are more like nilly i'll take that over the t90 comparison for sure Nilly's a funny guy. Just not, you can't just, you just can't understand him. Some people, you know, they don't get it. They're like, what is this? Just don't get it. <laughs> what is freaking this? Joker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Into the next game. And the game's paused here immediately. Yeah. Into a pause. You love to see it. And FedEx says wrong sieve. And, uh, oh. It, and, and Green says, how can you do it twice? So basically, the, what happened? The last set, um, FedEx had to play Chinese on the final game because they double picked Britons. Tata went Britons and FedEx went Britons, and it looks like FedEx has picked the wrong sieve once again. Oh my and god, that's kind of suspicious, but yeah, probably just an accident. Or has he picked the wrong sieve? Who? Because they do have Saracens in the draft. Hmm. Are they? It was Saracens, Britons, Huns, Malay. Sorry for the tabbing issues, guys. That's a capture age thing. Every time I tab out, uh, it goes to a previous scene. I would be so mad, man. I would. Uh, it's always frustrating. Val when Valis stuff had like that Malay in tournaments. Okay, Valis had Malay apparently. Ah, uh, okay. Then that was the mistake. Um, yeah, you already picked already it used. in the first game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right, so we wait again. We wait again. It wasn't FedEx's fault there. I thought it was because they were saying, how can you do it twice? But it looks like <laughs> it, it wasn't, wasn't his issue. But now that they've screwed up the sieves, the way that it works is that the other team gets to pick their sieve for the person that screwed up. That's the way oh. it works here. Yep. And I, I have the chance to go for little boys and also to get a beer. Wait, wait what? Huh? Oh, that's not a thing in uh, English. No, okay. you have to say uh, the little I... boys' room, like the <laughs> okay. wash. You can't okay. say go for little boys. Oh, that... <laughs> that's really weird. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Just leave, boy. <laughs> leave. <laughs> Fuck <Fuck's> sake! <laughs> leave. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> FBI open up oh my god thank you everyone for the follows thank you so much Red Rush thank you for the 11 months um, Rohit thank you for the 10 Pointy Boy thank you for the 4 thank you so much that's <laughs> that's just dude that's just funny oh my god alright we're. I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee give me 2 minutes here alright We're still waiting for the game room to get started.
Yeah, I'm back. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm back too. Oh, really? Well, we're still waiting because I think they're they're trying to figure out what sieve they want um, Valis to play because he already went Malay, right? So. You Stevie Wonder guy, Bullet? Oh my god, I'm muted. Well, they're trying to figure out what Civ. I was I was muted, but they're trying to figure out what Civ uh what's the space has to play. Because he okay. picked the wrong one. Because like you you have to punish it because you can see what Civs your opponents or yeah. your opponents are gonna pick, right? hundred percent. It would be dumb if they wouldn't punish it, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Oh man. <clears throat> Well, you big, I'm uh, sorry. You're sorry for what? Yeah. I'm sorry for what I said before. <laughs> it's my it was bad. funny, dude. It was funny. But I, I blame... <laughs> Swiss German. <laughs> I blame, yeah, I blame my Swiss German and also my lack of knowledge about um, how to speak properly in English. It's fine. You're fine. <sighs> That's good. Your English has always been pretty good. Pretty Much okay better than my Swiss German. A little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's true. I love this. Why are you typing 14, bro? I don't even... The game room hasn't even launched yet. The game room has not even launched. Well, Dude. maybe it just meant in general. Like, oh, let's go. Oh, I'm so hyped true, for the next yeah. game. And yeah, yeah, let's go. Like a happy 14. Yeah, true, actually. Like, he but, just woke up and he stretched and he got on his computer and he's like, let's 14 this day. Ah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but I, I, totally, I can relate. I, I think it's going to be like, it, it's it's more along the lines of just a 14 spammer. And we've had those since the beginning of Age of Empires. Oh my god, dude. We used to have 14 spammers back in the day. We still have 14 yeah. spammers. My whole That's chat is thing a 14 about the spammer AOE4. now. In AOE4, yeah. you don't have that. You don't have any taunts. Yes. I don't know how they could. I don't, I don't know whose genius idea was it to make an AOE game without taunts but, or cheats, but uh, it's there. I suppose. Well, without cheats, that's fine. No, because all the cheats um the the DE team added, they also always also broke the game. So. No, there was only one. Oh but no! Yeah, every, every time, every, every time was broken. every time it was broken. Every time it wasn't yeah. just the two fifty six tech thing. It was no, every time? no, every time. Every okay. Time. Okay. Yeah, it's still broken to this day. And it's people still broken? Notice. Yeah. Okay. Do you That's why I always cheats? win on a play. Oh. Oh, so you're the guy I keep matching up against. The yes. hacker cheater. Okay. Yeah, I'm the hacker cheater 2015, man. Also known as tra a tractor driver 2014. <laughs> no one gets that joke. Except us. I know. <laughs> All right. So still waiting on the game. Still waiting on the game. The Mista? Yeah. He's in the same team as Mista. True. Dude, Mista's cool. such a goofball. He really I love is. Him, man. Yeah, I love he's, him. he's also really nice and, uh, uh, yeah. I'm just, Super man. nice guy, I just, yeah. Can't, I can't even explain how nice he it is. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking about Tractor, tomorrow is Farming Simulator stream. Yep, I got to download that. You you want to join my insanity? We have a farm I simulator do, team. Dude, we should. Do you want to do like a content thing where your farm simulator team comes in and teaches me and Tristan how to farm? That would be so fun, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> I need to ask them actually. Something like that should be possible. Yeah, uh, I uh, I think it's so funny that Farm Simulator has like a competitive esports scene. That is just so weird to me. Like, what happens? Honestly, what yeah. happens? <laughs> You, you, well, they're just... You don't even know what happens. Like super, no, no, no. It's like everything is just super efficient. And you have like so, some pickup stuff. Uh, you Like, um, how is it called? Like a bonus you can pick up. So you uh, you have a higher or faster gather rate and stuff like that. It's actually really intense and really complicated. It's a, it's a true it's a true esports title, man. The, the tournaments are really fun to watch. Uh, 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 at... At the Hero Fest here in Switzerland, there uh, yeah. was a live event on, on a main stage. It was in Farm it was Simulator. Cool. 
Yeah, yeah. Did, I would love also talk if to them. they like, you know, like the the biking games where they get on the fake bike or like the digital bike and they like actually pedal, but it's an esports kind of game. I would love that if they had like a tractor setup that you could get on, you know, for Farm Simulator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You that could like have cool. a tractor thing in your room plugged into your computer. Hmm. I want to stick my feet in a tub of cold mashed potatoes. Well, thank oh, you, Maddie Rich. That. I understand that. Thank you, Maddie Rich. That that I would hate that. Mm. No, that's that's nice. If they were like that's warm really nice. mashed potatoes, I think it would be good. No, it's much better cold. Va- okay, it's showing me that Valis has picked the Bengalis, but I think that's oh, a no. bug with AoE2 Rex because we're on a previous build where you can't actually pick them. So I wonder what Sibby's yeah, That would be picked. weird. <laughs> Remember, they got to choose. Uh, the opposing you, team got to Valis choose. Valis has picked Berbers. Berbers, okay. Yep. So Berbers were... Um, no, that's the wrong question, random AOE fan. Why would you not mash the potatoes? Berbers were later on in the draft, so they, they maybe they didn't get to pick his sieve. I don't know what's going on here. The only sieve missing here from this draft is... Uh, Oh god, I don't even know what Civ is missing here from this draft. We have Chinese on it. What what's the one Civ missing, guys? Well, Chinese is not Vikings. In this game. Vikings is missing. So they could have picked Vikings for him. But apparently he's just gonna pick another Civ that's further down in the draft, so. Well. Maybe they picked for him, Berbers? You can mash potatoes by putting your feet on them. Ah, see, that's two birds with one stone. You put in the work, and then you get the reward. They start wow. warm. You mash them with your feet, <laughs> and then they get cold. And by the time they're cold, they're all mashed yeah, up. Also, the, also, you already have the cheese in it, so that's really good. Cheese? Yeah. Okay, I don't really like my mashed potatoes with cheese. Not? No. Well, I'm Swiss. I put cheese on everything. <laughs> Yeah, maybe like a little bit of a sprinkle with like, and then you like bake the crust on top. Maybe, yeah, no, no, not like, a little, like a big fat crust. Like, mmm. Okay. Ah, that's so tasty. All right. <clears throat> okay, we're into the game and uh, we won't talk about Bullet's cheesy potatoes anymore. <laughs> And uh, it's Team Tato against Team Valis. Game number three here. We got Valis over in the south. And uh, he's going to be matching up against FedEx this time. And once again, there's a position for Valis to go forward here and get some forward pressure with the early walls. He is playing, of course, as the Berbers, which is a great villager fighting Civ. You can get away with them pretty quickly. Faster walking villagers or running, I suppose. Jogging, potentially, in the Dark Age. And FedEx is playing as the Saracens. The other side, we have uh, Fanjita, Fanjita playing Fanjita. as the uh, Vietnamese. And there's a pond in between him and Tatu, who's playing as the Britons. So classic Archer matchup Ooh, here, Britons versus that's gonna Vietnamese. That's going to be intense. Yep. That's and it's wide open intense. here, too. Yeah, exactly. It's oh, really open. so lovely. I feel like we're going to see feudal pressure here. Uh, from both of these 100%. players, and then the pockets will go into like early castle age pressure, and it Ooh, looks like Ooh, Valis with the big walls. Ooh, Valis is coming really FedEx far is... forward. FedEx not doing. He, I, he I really guess, should have tried to deny these walls, man. I, uh, you're from his mindset though. He's matching up against Berbers, and you like never win the villager wars. But yeah, th even it's making true, him wall but... a little bit further back would be good. Yeah. It's just now he's ah, uh, yeah. And look at really Valis. Valis wants to come in here. He sent the villager through. He's probably gonna lame the berries, and he's probably gonna try and send the villager even further back. And it's gonna be really, really tough for FedEx. FedEx is fortunate that he's Saracen, so as long as he has one gold, he should be able to like get up to the next age using the market, uh, provided he even gets the feudal age in the first place. But it looks like he's gonna be okay over here as Valis pushes this away once again. Anyway, like I was saying, it, I think it's going to be feudal age pressure on the top and then the pockets will go into early castle age pressure and I like the Magyars better for that than the Ethiopians because the Magyars get uh, bloodlines on their knights yep. and the Ethiopians might be 
in and for also a the struggle there. for free. Yep, yep. Magyar should be better with Brilliant. that early pressure. Meanwhile, the other pocket sieves are Huns for Monos, and then finally we have Celts for Philip. And the Celts player will likely come forward and try and do pressure on FedEx as well. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a wide open game here, especially with those forward yeah. walls from Valis. That looks already a lot better for Valis's team mm -hmm. with those walls. And Valis is we... still in here with two vills. He can wall FedEx off, and with Kelt Castle push combined with all the walls from from Valis, this could be a dead FedEx. Yep. Yeah. Barris she uh, seems just like a really super strong Sif because of the Foster villagers. Dead X. Send it Whoa. into the afterlife with Dead X. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I'm gone, man. No. Well, <laughs> you're, really, this you're gone? Did they send uh, you away? Yeah. That's just Man. Express ship you to cringe to down. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the strat. All right. Well, Valis is over here and he's laming these uh, these ibex, and Monos needed to wall in his villagers on the berries. And there's still a lot of gold, a lot of stone, a lot of stuff that uh, Valis can continue laming at the back of Monos's base. So Valis is going to be the one being super annoying at this stage of the game, and Fangita is. Uh, Walling up close to his TC, so he's not even going to bother with that giant gap there. He's going to make Arabia walls here. Unfortunately for him, all his stones and his golds are forward there. He's got one in the back that he can take. What is FedEx's plan here? And it shows Vegeta typing as orange in Capture Age, but he's actually blue. Very strange. No, no, it's Tato. Tato. It's bugged for you. Yeah, it is bugged for me. It, I, I guess... It's super puck for you. Vanita is Vanjita or whatever is Tato on the thing? I don't know. Well, yeah. I need to check for you. Uh or, no, orange is Tato. That's I'll check in the I'll check in the game room. Yeah, it was Tato that said that. It was Tato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tato is orange, FedEx is red, Monos is yellow, and Ooh. Tiger is uh purple. FedEx tried to come through the walls here. From Valus. Yeah, yeah, and now he's gonna get hunted down by Valus, uh, yep. Valus and Valus brings even in more villagers. <laughs> and he's Berbers, so he can run away yep. from these vill fights as soon as they're weak. And FedEx doesn't want anything to do with that. Valus is now laming some more of those berries. It looks like Valus has made his way over to Tigger's base now. Valus is gonna lame three players from the opponent uh, opposing team. Very he's annoying. Such meanie. Yep. Yeah, he learned from also the best, st though. Also, still laming um, FedEx or trying to uh, uh, at least. <clears throat> Nations Cup 2017. Valis lamed me when really? I played with. Yep, yeah, with that when I played with Canada B, and we had like a bunch of. So it was like me and Chris, who were both 1700, and then not the real Chris, like the other Chris. Oh, okay. It was just thought as Chris. It was, a, it, what? It was, yeah, it was a BF player, Chris. And then our other two players, we would cycle through like a couple guys who were really new to the game just to give them like a chance to play. And Valis was not messing around, man. He was laming the hell out of us. <laughs> he like came forward, <laughs> killed my dogville, lamed two boars. Like he didn't, he just didn't care, man. And uh, he's still in that mindset, I suppose. Yeah. If, if it's oh, there look, to be lamed, he's gonna lame. Look at that on blue. This is gonna be great. Yep. Oh, looks, this is going to be a real chooser. Looks like Fangita is going to go for a bit more of a defensive approach, and Tato is going to get the... Uh, well, it, it makes sense. Well, You're against yep. a pro player, <clears throat> and you know he's going to uh, micro his archers uh, way better, so just go very defensive, um, so you're going to end up fine. It's the right approach. Fangita plays really well in this tourney. Well, he's, uh, he's probably matched up against... Slam, Tato, Doubt, like hundreds of times. He's a BF player that's always in the lobbies, right? So mm -hmm. I don't think he's really considering he kinda whether is he can BF micro of, against uh, uh, Slam. Ah, he is Slam's yes. BF. Yes. Yeah. You hear that? That's you hear that, why he's so good at BF. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Dude, I, I hate the fact that this is showing as his chat and not Tato's. We'll have to remember that that is Tato's chat. It's orange, it's really so weird. it is tattoos. Yeah, that's a very strange bug. 
Very, very strange. All it long time since you casted AoE 2? No! I do regularly um, cast of AoE 2, man. When? Every month. Oh, every month, okay. <laughs> Look at Mr. Planner, though. He's gone for scouts. He's gone for scouts, and it's open in the center here. Mr. Planner going from scouts all the way from his base, and he is Magyar, so he's going to get that extra attack. 5 plus 1 attack on those bad boys, and he's going into Tigger. He's going to look for opportunities here. Tigger's base is pretty secure at the moment, but uh, all it takes is an overchop or an overforage or a missed wall, and he can lose some bills here. He is on the way to the castle age. So is yellow, so is red. And Team Valis being more aggressive to start this off. And look at this. Vegeta has even looped around with Archer's Bullet. I love it. It's so good. It's an interesting strategy for sure. But Tato still has his Archers roaming around outside. So there's a risk of being punished for coming forward like this with your military. Let's see if he does get punished. The Archers are making their way towards the berries. Tigger is going to have to abandon that, but Tigger should be okay as long as he gets the Castle Age. Um, well, it's still going to be really annoying. He can't really expand his economy as long as these archers and uh, scouts are here. He needs a bear siege workshop. A villager. Yep. Yeah. Lost a villager for sure. Can't boom. And I think these scouts and archers might make their way to our Huns player pretty soon here. Although our Huns player does have a stable. And look at this. Look at what Valis is doing. He is walling in FedEx. And there's a forward siege workshop here from Philip. FedEx is on the way to Castle Age, but FedEx will need to live. Valis is double walling him in away from his allies. FedEx might be defeated here if he's not careful. Wait, this looks really dangerous here, indeed. And also Yellow Skull is uh, um, lamed and well, the damage is done kind of to Tiger, so they could just leave him. Ooh, FedEx coming forward now with the archers and he's in. He's, bro he's broken out of his little cage here, Bullet. Quick walls <laughs> there from Valis to try and save the Vils. He loses one. But this is going to be difficult. He's going to need knights uh, from Mr. Planner. Fedex now taking these boars. The boar? Okay. That's cool, I guess. Four villagers? Kato saying wall in the middle here as the pressure is still on on Purple's base. Don't know where those scouts went. Okay, the scouts are heading over towards our Huns player, but the Huns player has knights now. So the scouts oh shouldn't God, be able to do too much damage. For a second, I thought Hanfita <gasps> as a whole, but Oh my doesn't. God. Valis tried to escape with those vills and he lost all three near that mill. Oh, oh God, wow. that's awful. But he did, He there is a teal wall behind this. Yeah, and the, the, the Mangonels now are now here from Philip and the Arch or uh, Expos against Mangonel. Mm, well, yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need a siege workshop for sure from FedEx. Yeah, hundred percent. Dude, FedEx might get defeated here. No, no joke. Yeah, you know, you know what's the problem when you go archers? You don't have to vote for a siege workshop. Yep, yep. So that's why he's making a stable now. He's making a stable, but there's gonna be monks here from Philip. Uh oh. Oh, that's. Uh oh. Yeah. And Great Valis is even trying to wall Ballas. out the archers, and he does. <laughs> they are Saracen crossbows, though. This is so though. painful. True. Dude, but yeah. FedEx. Oh my god, is... he's losing. He's losing yep. so much. He's losing three more villagers. Lost some more crossbows, maybe? No, they survived for now. Crossbows are trying to get through this wall, and they are Saracen crossbows, so they're going to eat that wall for lunch. Yeah, but... Mango nails. FedEx, you need to notice? Good. Good stuff there from FedEx. And he's sniping the monks! No. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> he did not no, snipe deals. the monk. And the knight now can't engage against this until the monks are gone. One monk goes so down, though. Bad. Meanwhile, Tato is trying to pressure. He's got help from Yellow. Against Vegeta. Oh, big. Well, the Mangonel goes down, but he needs to delete at night. No. Nope. Yeah, Actually, I can't no, give him can a just night retreat. for sure. On the other side, though, Mangonel's still hunting those crossbows, and FedEx is still <laughs> alive. FedEx is alive here, folks. Valis is on the way to the Castle Age right now, and I think um, Tato is going to be a danger here with Britons big yeah, time. Yeah, but check the villager count for FedEx. 
27. He's Saracens, though. I mean, do you need Vils when you have a market? Mm. I, well, I think yes. just being there, <laughs> just being alive is good at the moment. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, <laughs> uh... Another monk goes down. FedEx has done the work. Yeah, he's but done he's the still work he's many crossbows. I mean, yeah, you killed the monk, but you lost again two crossbows. So Is Tato's oh well. now coming over to try and bust in where FedEx is. Ooh, FedEx is saying, Fed I'm going to I'm gonna open this wall here. But there's a wall there from Valis. That should be Felix taken out Felix Mangonel in the middle. <laughs> it's now getting out to town by the villagers. Did he just want shots off on those crossbows. <laughs> dodge, dip, duck, dive, dodge. Even the knights coming over, attack around it maybe? I don't know. Uh, He's no. looking for those it's archers from case. Tato. He's like, come on. Yeah, he doesn't get it. And the, you know what? FedEx has survived. This is fantastic from him. I thought there was a serious uh, potential for him to get completely defeated in this game. And instead, he's applying pressure to the pocket player. So, yeah, it's the best thing he can do right him. now since he's uh, really behind. And Tato is over here with crossbows. And Philip now needs the Siege Workshop at home. He just lost three bills. He has one. He's going for a Meganel. He's going to need more walls, though. Because that is a big army coming. Those are knights, Britain crossbows, and crossbowmen from the Saracen player. As Valis goes for a forward castle. Hang on a second. FedEx could still be defeated here. Hang on. <laughs> well, but he can't let his flank die, right? I mean, Teal... Uh, oh! Oh, that was almost a huge shot. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, big shot there on the crossbows from Tato. He's repairing with three bills. He's oh, okay, now, but the knights are in now. Now it's big trouble time. He got some decent shots on the expos, but now it's going to be really tough. Well, there's another Mangonel. He needs a monastery. He's just trying he to delay. He needs a monastery as soon as possible. He's trying to delay. He's even walling off green. He's like, I, I will make sure you won't absorb any of this damage here, my friend. You survive, yeah, and call. I will try to do whatever I can against this army. Yeah, Philip plays really well. Also, Monastery's coming up now in the back base. What a play, though, from FedEx. To go through the middle like that. And not yep, keep all his play. army at home. And it's enabled all of this pressure onto the Celts player, which is one of the strongest civs for Team Valis. So, great for stuff Fed there. More <laughs> Vils going down. Oh, God. FedEx, FedEx assume more military than villagers. <laughs> He's sitting at 33 bills. What's the auto TC time for him? Let's quickly check that. We got uh, casual five, almost six minutes of auto TC time on one TC for FedEx. There's no food income. Well, one far. There are zero techs coming in. Okay, finally Bodkin Arrow coming in, but zero techs for all players, which is all eco, all production so far. This is a ca castle age battle here. As the TC is completely surrounded, and those are Saracen crossbows. That TC will go down. Oh, damn. True. I forgot about that. Going for another siege workshop in defense. Val is I going for a third TC. Uh-oh. 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 FedEx Eco. Uh-oh. Pay attention, FedEx. Look at oh, look oh, home. Oh, my God. Look at your nice. home. And he's okay. still in ballistics. He had a lot of crossbows, though. And he owned Garrison some, and he's going to push away the camel archers. Maybe his economy is so bad. <laughs> oh my god, these Saracen archers, dude. Oh my god. Ripping this TC. You need to attack the knights. Once the knights I mean, are gone, then you can send Siege to deal with the crossbows, maybe. And he's running with the run Vils, away. running right through the crossbows. Oh god. Yeah, Teal all, is in trouble. All go down. Yeah. He's going to be like And he lost another villagers. Manginal to the right. Um, uh, Monos uh, doing a really good job of splitting up his knights. And look at all the stables for Monos too. He, They want to defeat Teal here. Yeah, he will be defeated. No, he's got he's got a vil for it. No, he's got a monk for it. And a vil for it. He's fine. Castle now from Mr. Planner. And Teal deletes the walls to run. Please remake the wall. He's rebuilt. Yeah, okay. Okay, good job, Philip. I'm proud of you. That's that's when he, uh, that's a rat how to uh, uh, knows how to play, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, Double now... It, yeah, that's the plan. 
Finally, the Ethiopians getting into the action here. Imperial Age coming in in 40 seconds. My man is going for forward siege workshops over here on Fanjita. Fanjita? Fanjita. We'll call him Fanjita. 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 Okay. And uh, Philip is losing his whole eco. Philip is going to have just these vills that he ran away with. Uh, he's to the left of Mangonel and the Monk. Yep. And the villager. Maybe he can convert some of FedEx's bills. <laughs> that would help a lot, actually. It's a big eco swing. I mean, FedEx is <laughs> yeah. still at 32. He still has more bills than FedEx right now. <laughs> Siege well, workshops. He's, going still for defending. Ram. he's going Ram? Really? Okay. I guess you're up against uh, Vietnamese, so Ram actually might be the play for Ethiopians. True. Getting capped ram right away goes Halbadir. Looks like Tato's on the way to Imperial Age. Yellow also on the way to Imperial Age. CC's still dying over here. Knight's running up against that wall though. And that's, dude, that is just so many stables over there for Monos. I think it's only a matter of time before they realize uh, that Valus is actually still back here. Once they kill Teal's base there, they might shift their focus to Valus. I love what Philip is doing. He's buying a lot of time. <laughs> He is. two TCs there. He is. Camel All these knights from... are so low. <laughs> they are. They're very, very low. <laughs> needs a... Dude, he's added so many stables. He needs a monastery. Look! He's actually trapped the knights into the little area there. They've got a courtyard that they're sitting in from those stables. <laughs> And now if Paladin, though. all these villagers. And... Paladin coming in for Mr. Uh, Mr. Planner. He's a boomer, man, oh. Mr. Planner. He is yeah, a boomer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this economy. Again, this is... Tinati could really learn something from Mr. Planner. And this name, <laughs> he's a great city planner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at all these barbs. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Forward castle now from Tato. We just have walls here. Fortified wall coming in from... Fanjita, Mr. Planner is gonna have a lot of paladin pretty soon. Yeah. This could this He's could standing. kill Tato. Well, but Tiger has already Halvadiers. True, and they're garrisoned in the Rams too, keeping yeah, them hidden sure in the, there. The pressure on Blue is real. What's going on against FedEx? That's a lot of camel archers from Valus. Valus is also uh, doing a lo lots of economy. He what? He did send his camel archers forward. I saw them over at the uh, north fight for a while there, so I wonder if he was able to stall out this push a little bit. We're gonna have a lot of paladins pretty soon. Paladin upgrade coming in here. It's in. Manganel's trying to deal with the halberdiers, and he's trying to repair these. And now the paladin he might save them. Yeah, he might save them. He saves them. Yeah, and the, the Halberdiers are not fighting the Paladins. Oh my god. Mm, he saves all of them. He di didn't lose a single Paladin and uh, killed like uh, 10 Halberdiers. <laughs> Big. And there are no more. Yeah, there are some Halberdiers. But only five, uh, six barracks production. So it should be good. Looks like they're trying to bust into Green's base now. They're just using crossbows to work on that wall though. So Green yeah, has more than enough time to get ready for that. Um, Valis is pushing now against FedEx. Two Mangonels against these crossbows. FedEx notices. And Valis yeah. is on the way to Imp, so FedEx should be dead here pretty soon. FedEx, FedEx is still is... only at 35 bills, man. He his yeah, eco. he never... How much idle time does he have in his TC? Uh, he's got... Idle TC time almost 17 minutes now. But he's added yeah. in extra TCs now. Still, it's rough. Meanwhile, at the top, Vanjita is trying to hold. Well, he's trying to hold. Kind of to hold. A blue scan, but Vanjita is trying to run. <laughs> True. Green is trying to hold on both sides, but he's cleared up all the stuff that was in Teal's base. That is a lot. That's 46 Paladins there for uh, Mr. Planner. And even if they lose Vanjita's base, they still have a trade line available. They have a really good trade set up. Yeah, and then my, I think Mr. Planet and Valus might just end up carrying this game to a victory. Yep. It, it, it is possible. We got two yeah, dead well, players I'm for that team. I'm saying this, uh, Tiger and Tetris pressure is big. Yep. They need um, some form of siege on this side. 
Uh, Fanhita maybe needs to go into Bombard Cannons to support. The Paladins are great, but you need some form of Siege to deal with the inevitable Siege Onagers or Bombard Cannons that are going to come out from the Ethiopians. FedEx is dead, though. FedEx is... Uh, he's running yeah. for his life now. <laughs> he's trying to... Yeah, he's making uh, better room ramps to get through the walls of Lalas in the north. Fanhita managed to save... Uh, 88 vills though. 88 villagers. It's quite nice. Mr. Pla- I mean, not Mr. Planner. Philip only managed to save like 30. So that's your comparison right there. As they lose their bases. <laughs> oh, FedEx is trying to escape. There's fortified wall. There's rams from both sides, bullet. It's trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be tough time. Oh my god. Valis is missing so many upgrades. I don't think he has even ballistics. Yep. He finally got bloodlines. He's getting the second nice. armor upgrade. And uh, the rams are working away at those walls there. The rams are working away at the walls. Got forward castles now from the Ethiopians. Tons of bombard cannons there. Paladin numbers still looking excellent for green. 62 of them. Yeah, it's cleaning out the whole base of uh, Philip, and Philip might uh, could just go back. How many villagers does um, Teal have at the moment? Uh, 48. 48, so he's ahead compared to FedEx. <laughs> Malice is killing so much in FedEx's eco. He just killed a lot of those uh, crossbows, but the paladins are in. The wall is complete, and Valis tries to wall up behind. Go, go, go! He doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. FedEx is on the run. He's on the run. Valis has completely taken him out there. But remember that uh, Teal is basically out of the game. We've got uh, Blue trying to reboom. He's going for castles here. He has 76 vills, but uh, he ha doesn't really have the text he needs to make the appropriate army. Are these elite ratins? No, they're just normal ratins. Oh, boy. Wow. They have some upgrades, so is that going for him? And now we this have the Briton Arbalist just game, ranging man. the castles, yeah. <laughs> and FedEx Miniature are blocking off the, not the Paladins. <laughs> oh, man, this is so, so difficult for uh, Monos to support him, too, because he's got to go through that one little tile choke point. Needs to set a ram to kill the rest of those fortified walls. Yeah. That is so annoying. Elite Camel Archer now on the way. How good are elite camel archers against paladins? I, I They're basically like Magadai. They have oh, the really? same attack. Okay. They, they attack a little bit slower. So with pr but, with um, proper micro, they're doing really well then. Yeah, and with Berbers, you can always add in like some camels in front too. True. Well, Mongos could do the same, right? Yep. But it's cheaper for Berbers. Ah, oh, true, yeah. All right, so lots smart, of paladin man. now coming in. There's not too many halberdiers. Paladin going after the siege. They don't want to lose that castle from blue. But they're not targeting the siege. The siege right? no. And he's just targeting I... the Albaniers. He's got behind the, the Arbalists. But Tato manages to weasel his way out there. Well, so how lots many of Paladins. Oh, this, uh, four, these are still 40 Arbalists. I thought these are like uh, 15 or 20. Dude, that that was know. so many Paladin there for Mr. Planner. That was a great clear up, honestly. He didn't even lose mm -hmm. his whole army. Still got so many alive. And Valis continues the push on this side. Paladin from uh, Monos forced to go over there. FedEx still a non-factor. 69 villagers now for the Celts player. We might have ourselves a game here. All due to Mr. Planner with the insane eco and insane paladin span, honestly. Give him paladins and he's fine, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, goths not so much, but <laughs> paladins. <laughs> you don't want to mess with this man. <laughs> he's going to clear up this fight. Tato needs to run back. Yeah. That's not enough halbs. That is not enough halbs. Yeah, but he also doesn't want to throw away the paladins, right? Ooh. Because he can't really set up proper trade. Dude, I'm Imperial Skirmisher. Up trade. Imperial Skirmisher in from blue. Imp, Imp Skirm Ooh. Paladin with Bomber Cannons behind. That might be really good. Yeah. No, no, it's a no, really good it unit. It is really good. Yep. <laughs> they also right. look really fancy. They do. They do. Yeah.
The, oh no, Valis attacked a farm by accident. The Paladin have gotten close to his Camel Archers. Loses a few of them, but the Paladin need to go back now for Monos. Still have just a one tiled choke point there to get into this battlefield. So really, really difficult. They need Tigger to maybe cut through um, to get better access to that. Paladin are now engaging against Sato's Arbalest sure again. I'm not about the fight though. It's, there's still three castles and some Haladiers. I mean... Mr. Planner needs to be very careful. He's going to snipe the trips now. He needs to be careful to keep his paladin numbers up until he can get his trade rolling. That's I'm the key. Of you, by the way. <laughs> are you? Yes. What time are you at? Um, 46, 26. Okay, so you're ahead by like five seconds. It's fine. Speed up a little bit. And we're good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Oh, Valis tried to go for a forward castle. But the Paladin spam from the Huns, denying that. Let's take a look at the trade numbers. Good trade there from uh, Tato. We've got decent trade here from Purple as well. No trade from FedEx. <laughs> Not surprising. And only 12 from the Huns player. I mean, Valis has no trade whatsoever. Yeah, Got trade from really Kels, trade from Mr. Planner, a bit of trade from Fan uh, Fanita, but Mr. Planner has run out of gold for Paladin production oh, right now. Oh, Valis, don't lose your PBC like that. Oh, and God. The, oh, Oleger, God. Oh, Oleger, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oleger. No, it's actually a really good fight. How? Yeah, that's a really nah, good fight there. As nah. long as the bomber can survive. No, no it's not. No, no. Paladin not or Paladin. <laughs> yes. They're too tanky. I thought with the um, uh, protection of the castle, maybe, but nah. He lost big numbers there, Valus. Yep. Still, he's kind of dividing attention from Purple. Purple sending Siege over here. He's 1v1ing against Monos, basically, and FedEx still doesn't have much room to expand. So, provided the Celts player gets into the game pretty soon, and Celts is going up to Imp, maybe they can hold on long enough. Forward castle from Tato. Those longbows are insane. I, they still didn't clear the wall of Wallace. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very annoying. Look, he's signaling like, cut, do something, come on. Wallace <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, needs Tiger trade. Is probably Tiger is struggling. That's too much multitasking, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh. Also, it doesn't help that uh, Tato is spamming the chat <laughs> with them. Um, stuff yeah, Tiger should do. Kalanen coming in now again. But remember, he doesn't really have the gold to keep up production. There's no Paladin in the queue here for green. He's got 33 on the field. He's going for light cap right now, and he's getting a Hussar. Imskirms are actually doing quite well here. Yeah, and the Paladins are not cleaning everything. They got the castle up, but they lose pretty much all army. Yeah, but can he replace the Paladins? That's my question. He's got six yeah, more in the queue probably right not. now. Yeah, you're right. Valis is doing work on the other side, though. Completely oh, yeah. holding off Monos. Like, where is Monos' army? He's got 21 well, Paladin. Some... <laughs> okay, they're so going to the other side. <laughs> Dude, they're going to the oh. other side. That could be devastating. And he's going into Tarkin too, which should do really well against Camel Archer. Yeah, and the more push Pierce armor. on the right looks stronger than the push from Valas on the left. Yeah, oh, way stronger, yeah. yeah. Way, way stronger. Like, Mr. Planner and Fajita are doing a, gr a great job, but... I mean, it's Tato. Yep. Tato is a beast. Yep. Tato finally making his presence known. And Tigger is going to wipe up these Imperial Skirms. Oh, God. Uh! Oh, that feels so bad, man. Planner just trying to build up paladins, and the paladins here from Monos might be just He's too much. He's mixing hustlers. That, that, that's never a good sign. Yep. This might be too much for them to deal with once the paladin from Monos arrive. This is a good side switch here. Well, uh, one more castle, and it's game over pretty much, because yep. the next castle will it's be into the inside trade. the trade. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Great game, though. Yeah, like, really, really interesting. Wow, back, uh, back and forth. I love it. Those longbow too. Oh god, he's just got such a big clump. And here's the paladin for Monos. 
And Fangita doesn't have anything to deal with that. Yeah, Mr. Planet just sent all this uh, Paladin in certain death. Is Teal back into the game yet? That's my question. And the answer... He's got 18 Siege Rams. Where? What? That's his... Okay. This is the are push. You, what? From everywhere the Siege Rams are coming. Yeah, but there's You're, Paladin no, here. No, there's, no. There, there, there's no way. There's it's a no YOLO way. push, dude. It's a YOLO. My man's got 19 if Siege works. Rams. <laughs> if this works, man. Dude, it doesn't even nah. have... Pure Celtica. He doesn't even have the unique tech. They're just dying. Yeah, what nah. This is this is over. <laughs> he's probably telling his team like, just hold. I push. I push. I push. And then they look over. He's like, I'm pushing. And they're like, bro, what? <laughs> what is this push? You only have speed ram. This dude. is. <laughs> you boom for something like that for an 18 ram push. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is a ball of death for Tato here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this just shreds everything. Let's look at the pretty KD strong. here. <laughs> Tato's KD looking pretty fine. Philip didn't yeah, even get a Philip's single castle. <laughs> my man made like 30 siege rams and he didn't get a single castle. <laughs> oh man. Meanwhile, Valis well, on the other side well, well. is pushing back a little bit. He's got heavy cam yeah. or heavy camel now, and he, uh, he's well, close to the trade as well. If that castle goes down, Philip is killing one, uh, destroying one, uh, one more castle there. He got a castle. They're still holding better, somehow. Better. Yeah, yeah, they're still in this. There's also trap, two traps from Mr. Planet. Don't tell Imp me. Imp skirms, man. Imp skirms. They're so strong. They're so good. And the, even the longbows are struggling to deal with that. Siege onagers, though, will get big shots. Mr. Planner, the production is not there. They got me. The, the camel archers are soon in the trade. I mean, there's something to kill the trade, man. This uh, t uh, team Ballas might win. Yep. He needs more heavy camels, though. Because those um, Tarkins eight pierce armor on those bad boys. But still, Mr. Planner was over here with a couple paladins getting in the way. And now we see a panic castle there from FedEx. On this side, though, they're still pushing. And Ram's still incoming from Philip. They got rid of all the castles here. If they somehow clean up this army, they're back. Yeah, like, Tato's team has not raided the trade yet. They've not gotten in there. Tato's they're getting really, really right close. Now. Onager coming in for our Celts player. Yeah, there are too many units still. And there's there's like, no army. I don't there's see no army. Skirms and I don't yeah. see any paladins from green. There's only rams. <laughs> there's more rams! <laughs> go rams, rams go! Such a meme. <laughs> Look at the push but, though from Valis! The castle goes down, they're into the train, bullet! Oh my god, do you believe? What the hell? I kind of believe, but then I look back at Tato's army over here. And I kind of don't at the same time. Still, one <laughs> Siege Onager shot or one Onager shot from the Celts could change this whole thing. Or on or the longbows. <laughs> yeah, true. Tiger! Yolo Villagers. <laughs> Just getting mad in chat. <laughs> Dude, they're, they. The markets have been repositioned, I believe. Yep, markets have been repositioned. So, Team Ballas is saving their trade. And all of the trade from um, Team Tato was either cleared up or relocated over to a different side. And now they're killing Monos' base. Monos' economy is getting completely wiped here. It's actually just been walled off by FedEx. Yep. What is this from behind? Wait, what is this base from... Fangita from yeah. behind? Look, he's taking out the castles from behind with the, the can what? cannons. Huh? What? How did... How did I don't know! Them? What? <laughs> what? No way! What? I don't know! <laughs> what is happening in this game? Well, also, Monos is kind of dead, and so yeah. is FedEx, so... And look at this push from Valus. It's insane! FedEx going into Siege Onagers now. He's progressing faster okay. than Tattoo and Tiger somehow. I want one Onager to pop out of these Siege Workshops, Philip. That's all I need, right near the, these longbows. All I require. 
Wow, dude. Wow. The score switched. The score switched. Oh my Crazy. god. No way. Can FedEx get big shots here against these Camel Archers? Valus needs to not go through this wall. FedEx will but, but rip the Camel way Archers. Way dangerous. Way dangerous. Yep. But Mono Suziko is dead. Front, so he, he, he sees what's up. Mono has, Monos has 23 vills, Split. <laughs> but, 23. How many is FedEx? Oh, he's actually 98. But half of them are idle. <laughs> and look at Mr. Planner now. 31 Paladins oh. once again. Still don't see any Onagers here. We got some Siege Onagers building up from Philip. Oh, man. I don't know if Tato and Tigger can hold over here anymore. I don't know if they can continue pushing. That's much. That there are only like six Halberdiers. That's not enough. And Tato's saying oh. it's over, I think. Oh, wow. my God. Just wow, man. No way. Wireless, man. Wireless and Mr. Planner. Well, for Heat as well. This well, doesn't... as well as <laughs> This feels like a final, not a third place match, man. These guys are playing to win. What the hell? Oh, well, here come the SOs! Philip has... Yeah, Philip has now SOs. Tato's dead. Don't get too far away from your allies' SO, though. Those Paladins are gonna die. Tato! Oh! <laughs> He's micro like a madman. He saved some, at least. They're still in this. But it, I hear the Jaws music as these get closer and closer, and Tata needs to retreat. Yeah, Both the Trebs go down. He didn't, didn't lose his army, and so many as... The GG call from Tato. Is it? Oh my god. Yeah. I'm a little bit further behind, but... It's oh not surprising god. to me. It is not, not surprising to me at all. There it is. And GG called. Valis, so good. He, he just pushed slowly with the bomber cannons and brought his hussars to um, kill off the S. Oh my god, man. Valis yep. is such a fucking beast. He Incredible. is. He really is. And he did that. He basically did that alone over here. Fighting yeah. against Monos. He wasn't fighting against FedEx. FedEx took so long to get back into the game there. Um, we saw the boom back from Teal. And Teal was actually a factor with those Rams. You can argue how effective they were, but they distracted them at least. And it, FedEx took a very the, long uh, time. He destroyed the, the castles in the end, and yeah. that made it probably possible to hold on uh, longer. Crazy. Insane. Just Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. And wow, what a team game, takes that. I thought for, like, I knew there was a chance... But I thought for sure Tato's team had that. As soon as Monos came over here with the Paladin, like, there was nothing to, to counter this. But I feel like they just didn't push into the trade when they could have. It felt like there was an opening on the right side where the Longbows could have come forward and started clearing up the trade. But they didn't, and that gave them time for Valis' team to switch their trade over to the other side and get it rolling uh, in a shorter path. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. The Hans player sucks. You're talking about Monos here. Monos is one of the best players in the world. Monos is an absolute <laughs> legend. And Monos had an insane <laughs> boom earlier with the Cumans, remember? Absolutely yep. insane. Super fast yeah. Paladin. Remember, Monos killed uh, Teal with his knights, right? Like, uh, Yeah, it's did some work, man. Yeah. I mean... Honestly, props to Wallace's team. I mean, that's, I, I didn't think it's possible. Nope. Like, look and at <laughs> check yeah, Wallace's fuel age time. <laughs> <laughs> what was this fuel? Oh my god, 16 <laughs> minutes? Man, it, was, Yikes. it was hardcore busy laming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think, man. like, what? the push from behind from Fenjita there was insane. It was big. Like I didn't see the coming. This Not used to be his base, remember? I forgot this used to be his base, but I guess he had mills <laughs> back there. And I think he cleared up like two castles. So there was less places for Tato and Co. to fall back to. Like that's that's sick, man. That was just a sick game. Let's go. Yeah, that's that was super cool. Alright. So Team Valis gets the <laughs> second point there and uh, we mark off the sieves and a win with Celts, a win with Berbers that he had to switch to.
a win with Magyars and a win with the Vietnamese. And then we had a loss for Britons, the second pick, and a loss for Ethiopians, the third pick. Second and third pick both going down. Loss for the Huns and loss for the Saracens. Hmm. 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 Hmm, indeed. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Big plays, man. All right. Not into the game yet. We're still waiting. Yep. Um, can Ballas' team take this? I don't know. Kind of feel it doesn't feel like a third or fourth place match. It feels like they're all trying really hard here. Yeah, true. How close were the semifinals? Let me check. No, super close. Yeah. Both of them on three, two. Oh, yeah. dude, it was really close. Yeah. Really, really. Team Blessa Barl is so finals. Dude, Barls. Okay, so Barls plays flank like almost every time for his team and he plays like the the Ruben stock Valis kind of role <laughs> where he's just being super annoying oh nice oh man i miss Boros. i want to meet him again in real life <laughs> Boros is a funny dude yeah he's a real funny dude <laughs> it feels like everyone else at that uh tournament was like had streamer mode on you know where they're they're kind of like uh Less a less gamer. I, I how do I explain this? Burles more personality, just like yeah. Burles is a, they're more moderated in their tone oh, and everything, okay. you know. And Burles just doesn't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, he's this cool dude. <laughs> that was great meeting him. And also, Burles's team has Matt, who is. Uh, hmm? <laughs> I know exactly. His name is just Matt one hundred and seven. Matt one hundred and seven. He's a beast. Dude, he, he, we can't be sleeping on no, that. He's no, a beast. The, the, the games they lost, Matt was playing. <laughs> yeah, but the 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 <laughs> set before that, the set before that, they won all the ones with Matt playing, and they won, they they lost the only one where he wasn't playing. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, can they pick the same sieves multiple times? No, they can't. But in the final game, if this goes to a game number five. Uh, the way it works is that it's going to be just free pick, no repeat. Um, so you can pick four, whatever four sieves you want if it goes to a game number five. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Two to one. Two to one. And Valesa's team is like, uh, Valesa's team is really good. Robo and Shed yes. are a great combo working together. And then Valesa and Rubenstock, obviously, on the other side. Rubenstock is craziness. Um, he's kind of plays the way Valis has been playing, except more. And then Valesa is just solid on everything, no matter what you need him to do. And then Robo and Shed just have good teamwork, you know? Just good yeah. teamwork. We can't that let... Sounds like a real cool team. I don't want the them to win, Australian though, guys. like, imagine Robo's ego if they win. Ah, well, Rob is not really the ego guy, man. Oh, uh, that huge ego. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Nah, the, the Rob is fine. I think... Nah, he's, he's not the... He feels he's important for the community. What Here he is. Go. So... Okay. But that's fine, because he is. But I don't think he has an ego playing-wise. No, okay. Okay. Yeah, playing wise, nah. He's when he was here, when he visited me, and he played, and I already, I always had to motivate him to believe more himself because he was actually playing really good in the one v ones. But he always resigned so early because he was like, ah, nah, the guy's way too good and blah blah blah. But so what did you say to him? So I said, oh, Robo, go for it. You're the champion. You're the master of disaster. <laughs> you can do it. And he did. Is that it? You didn't have anything else to say to him? No, no, that was enough. I oh, like. Okay. I don't use many words because I don't know that many. But my words, they hit. <laughs> they hit different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd pay for a pep pep talk from you. I maybe should do that. Yeah. You don't give me pep talks anymore, though. You used to. Not anymore. Yeah, because you have the you have achieved everything, Dave. Everything. Literally everything. Yeah you're, yeah, you're pretty much the achiever. Guys, don't 14 me when the game hasn't even started. 
Stop. <laughs> Stop. Fourteening me. Who's the co-cast? Bullet Chin. Bullet Chin. He's a Swiss guy. Um, he's a, a legend of the game. Very good player. Um, very attractive. Uh, very intelligent. <clears throat> intelligent? I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's a lie. Very, very Swiss. Uh, in his free time, he enjoys um, making chocolate. Uh, also making cheese. Mm. And um, living on top of a mountain. Oh, Snippy, it sure is. It sure is. <laughs> you played Age 4 recently? Yeah, and no, I was casting like four days in a row. Ah. Did you, have yeah, you tried it since the, that patch went out? I yeah, guess it's really fun right now. It's super fun. Okay. It's really good. Does he yodel? No, he can't. No. <laughs> Yodely, hoo hoo. <laughs> oh my god, whoa. Hit us with another one. <laughs> Hit us with another one. Bullet with the hill bones. <laughs> give us a, can you give us like an extended yodel? No, I can't. <laughs> I Die. wish I can, but I can't. Oh. I'm not Swiss enough. I'm not Swiss enough, man. <laughs> what's the idea behind yodeling? Like, what's the lore behind that? I guess doing music. <laughs> That's it? There's well, no like no, cultural the story thing? Is, no, the story is, well, as we know, the Swiss people, most of them live in the Alps or mountains, right? Yeah. So they kind of live far away apart, right? Like yeah, uh, yeah. each family, one of the mountain tops. So how can they communicate like uh, 200 years ago? Well, there was no mobile phone. Really? So they had to, <laughs> to yodel to the other mountain. So they and... sent actually secret messages over the mountain system okay, of yodeling. So, and I guess yodeling carries better like with echoes and stuff in the mountain? Exactly, yeah. Okay. So, like, if you said, like, yodely he who, but you meant to say, like, yodely de who, would you be saying, like, instead of saying, um, happy, I wish your sister a happy birthday, you're going to say, like, your sister is hot? Yeah, pretty much. It's, okay. You, so yeah, you, you understand the system now. You can really, like, screw up communication at a long distance then. Yeah. There could be some big misunderstandings. They, they can, they can. But okay. as my <laughs> yodeling grandfather told me, he said, you just need to focus <laughs> on the text. <laughs> focus on the what? The text. On the text? Yeah. What? Because when you focus on the text, you bring it right into the yodeling. Because yodeling is not just singing. It's like a mindset on the next level. Okay. It's like it's like channeling uh, a spell, kind of like. Okay. <clears throat> well, we have twenty seconds. Thank God, we got twenty seconds until <laughs> the game starts. <laughs> are we waiting for another game? Yes, we are. <laughs> it's starting soon, bro. Don't worry about it. We'll get in here. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. New <laughs> AOE expansion. The Every, Swiss. Uh, everyone is happy. <laughs> yeah. Oi. Okay. Here You're we in? go, folks. Yes, I'm in. And uh, we have game number four here against Team Tato and Team Valesa. And we have FedEx once again on the flank and Valis. Or sorry, it's uh, Fangitha this time over here on the flank against FedEx. And it's going to be a matchup between the Indians and the Poles. Last time we see Indians maybe ever, potentially. Um, very good sieve here. But the Poles are better in the villager fights because the villagers heal HP. So we'll see if uh, FedEx can get much done here as Fangita is coming forward with that early wall right away. Yeah. Mr. Planner is here with the scout, though. And where's the scout for from FedEx's ally? Okay, it's coming. Yeah, Fangita should have probably walled earlier, I feel like. I don't think he should take... Oh, actually, sniping the scout. Oh, he's going to lose the vill there, though. He's going to lose the vill. Micromanagement. Oh, yeah. Mr. Planner, though, is going to snipe a villager from FedEx. So one, one for one there. 
And FedEx is going to have to send more vill villagers forward because that villa is too weak. She can't out heal that. But here comes the scout from Monos. Here comes the scout from Mr. Planner. They're both going to lose villagers here, I think. Maybe? No! Yeah. FedEx will save. Oh, big. Oh, Vegeta might uh, save, though. He's sending more bills. Maybe, yeah. Uh, no, oh, no, he's no, blocking, no, no, though? No, 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 he's not saving this. No, no. no oh! oh, my God! <gasps> Sick. Viper? He's... Oh, Vegeta. He's yep. just... Next level. Yep. Next level, man. Just too good for this world. Yep. How can you stop this man or woman? What do you, what do you get when you... Wrap Viper up in a tortilla. A Fangita! No, man. <laughs> well, he no. just lost Why? another bill. Why do you keep doing this? He lost another bill. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really a, a, a streamer syndrome, or I, I don't know, man. Oh, no, it it's terrible. Sickness. Dude. Well, no, because it is a sickness. Yeah, I, I actually I physically feel ill, so you're not alone, chat. Um, it's you get bored with the sound of your own voice, so you make shitty jokes, and there we go. He's lost another villager there, another brother down. And he's bleeding out under the snow, and we can finally look somewhere else here as FedEx is going to likely wall behind this and hopefully take control of that pond. So we got Poles versus Indians over here. Looks like Tato is saying, I go fast, feudal, and take map control. He's playing as the Koreans, and he's going to be even matching up. To wall. Yeah, well, he's going. He said he's going fast, feudal, and taking yeah, map yeah, control. Yeah, yeah, but so. and he's, would... he's up against Byzantines. Koreans versus Byzantines. Byzantines feel like a good counter to every Civ, to be honest, and except for Sicilians. And the walls are going to be up for him. Valis is playing in the pocket position as Bulgarians, and then finally Mr. Planner as Spanish. Another Paladin Civ here for our Planner. And then nice. in the pocket for Team Tata, we have Khmer for Tigger and Burgundians for Monos. FedEx was going hard on the walls of Fangita, man. With six villagers, now we pull three back. Look at the villa count, though. Fangita is at... Oh, man, I keep butchering his name. I uh, Fangita is on 10 Fanhita. and FedEx is on 12. He's on 10 and he's trying to wall in the villas from FedEx, but FedEx will pull them away and he'll be fine. Hmm. Well, I think that's done. So yep. we'll go, props to Fangita for the wall, but he's kind he of paid it. He paid a big price for that, for sure. Big, big price indeed. Big, big price. There was no boar under the TC. <laughs> which I is think not the so good, good thing for him, he's taking in three of these boars. Please get, please don't lose this vill. Please do not lose this vill. You should be fine. May oh god, maybe not. Those boars will block each other, and he does have loom. Yeah, he should be fine. Uh, Otherwise, he could just still use the house trick. Yeah, but that only diagros the one boar, right? And there's the other two chasing. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Props to so, him, man. There's no food <laughs> under the TC right now. <laughs> yeah, he's Oh, God. Hey. Oh, please don't, ki don't kill the boars. Well, okay. he wants to kill the boars, but you mean with the yeah, TC? Yeah, I mean not with the TC. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's Man, Tato I... talking about? I go fast, feudal, take map control. Tigger can come. Tigger, I take this, and you come siege plus stable. Tigger, did, Tigger, you, read did you read me? <laughs> did you read me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wall here. We push on pocket if possible, and then I castle drop. <laughs> He's such a T90 freaking uh, Tato, man. He's like the random guy you queue up with in Apex. Yo, yeah. bro, you got a mic? <laughs> you got a mic? <laughs> So true. <laughs> Bro, got a mic? <laughs> oh, man. I think they're on voice. It's just Tato who probably can't talk right now. Or yeah, something. The, his microphone is broken. Oh, no. Like Green killed a boar with the TC. That's fine. He's going to take the other two in. Velas. Poor Velas. Uh -uh. He's on the way to Feudal Age, though. All right. So the one thing that's... Um, Maybe not the greatest. It's Hato goes for a tower here. For FedEx, even though he's ahead and he has a dock position here so he can make fishing ships, his poles in Imperial Age feel really underwhelming in a BF setting. So I would mm. definitely favor the Indians over them. Maybe not in the directive matchup, but I think the Indians can do more for their team than the poles can do. But still, 
the poles are are farther in front right now and like i said he's gonna have that dock to uh expand his eco a little bit yeah tat is still pushing but i don't know he has four villages forward well which remember are right now obviously but he wants tigger to come help him so as long as he's providing pressure and forcing Teutonic... Oh, it's Teutonic tanks. I didn't even realize. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. As... <laughs> he's back from the injury. As long as he's uh... providing pressure and, like, forcing him to invest in the walls and keeping him in Feudal Age, maybe um, Tigger can come over and get in in early castle. Hmm. He needs stone walls, but he's still Dark Age. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Malus will click up soon to Castle Edge. Not too far away. Yep. And Valus is playing as Bulgarians. Pretty strong pocket sieve here. See what the boom is going to be like for him. Does he trust his Byzantine ally to simply defend here? Because if they get in um, through on the right wall here, they're going to be into Valus' base and not Blue's base. So he's got to be a little bit concerned as Tato is already through those two layers of wall, going for another tower, and here's the stone walls behind from Teutonic Tanks. Teutonic Tanks, let's look at his res. He is... Ah, uh, he's a little close to ca clicking up. Not super close, so he's going for a market. Doesn't really have the res to sell in order to buy the food he needs. Tato says, send the will kill already? Hmm. Send Not Ville sure already. Yeah, no, no. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure, you know. Okay, you're a nice guy, I believe. Yeah. I'm just clarifying. You're clarifying. Oh, you're the clarifier. I'm the clarifier. That's my <laughs> scene. That's my that's my superhero name. I am the clarifier. I would Words, even sign your sentences, cape. butter, anything you need, I'll clarify it. What's okay. that? How do you design your cape? If you're the Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't think I would have a cape. Not? Oh my no. god. I think so I would wear like meta. I think so I would wear like a superhero. Underwear over my tights. Like old <laughs> Superman. Okay, I see. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. Captain cool. Underpants. Did you have Captain, Captain Underpants? Captain Underpants. That's a great Smurf name. <laughs> Did you have that when you were a kid? Captain Underpants? It was like oh, a comic. A yeah, it was oh, like really? a comic. No, I don't yeah, know yeah. that. I don't know that. It was a great comic, dude. I used to love that. Damn, man. Yeah, I'm biggest fan of it. It must suck. Don't need blacksmith. Do siege. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's telling the Khmer player. Man. Look, Tigger says for workshop, he's playing as Khmer, bro. <laughs> you don't need it. Yeah, he did, he did realize. <laughs> he did realize. Mm-hmm. When Stato told him, but that's not it's not a great feeling there for your teammate to be telling you what you need nah, as you're really. and now it's you're housed really demoralizing. too. I feel like if Tato didn't tell him this stuff, Tigger would have been fine. But he spent so yeah. much time telling him what to do that Tigger is now feels like a weird form of pressure, you know? That's just, that's just why you should be on voice. In voice, it's yeah. In chat, it always sounds like. It always sounds really <sighs> passive aggressive and stuff. Yeah, but on exactly, voice, yeah. it can be more friendly. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. All right, so Red is up to Castle Age. We actually have uh, Fangita up to Castle Age first before him. And that's surprising uh, because of his terrible start. But I guess FedEx needed to add in some fishing ships. So he invested Eco into that. And he's going to have a much better Eco than Fangita. And I wonder what Fangita is going to go for here. Is he just going to go for the Indian boom? It's got a couple on stone, and maybe that's just for walls and extra TCs. Castle H almost in for Teutonic Tanks, too, and he's still surviving. He needs to complete this wall, though, because they are almost through. I never saw him have so many bills, man. Look Props at Tato. Go closer. <laughs> Dude, <he's... laughs> like, Jesus Christ, come on. He's like, shut up, <laughs> it's, man. It sounds so it's aggressive. It's so annoying. Look, that wall goes down immediately. <laughs> bills go down. So <laughs> I know. Tato sounds like Mamacita a bit here. <laughs> like, even, even from a player like Tato, it just gets annoying, you know, when yeah, someone's telling is. you what to do all the time. Max seating in general is annoying. It's even yeah. more annoying when it's inside the game. <laughs> yep. Multiple villagers, though, down from Teutonic Tanks. 
And there's Mangonels here. Tata's gonna target him or tell him to target the Vils. Like he says, true. up. Uh, like, up. <laughs> I don't know if I'm he's saying I'm up or that. move the Mangonels up. <laughs> I don't know what he was sure. talking about, but. Tiger now we got. Know, just send the question mark. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Focus here, you need to break. Oh, shut up! <laughs> no, man. Like, that, shut he up! Knows that, that, though. He knows that. I that, know. Oh, on, my man. God. <laughs> oh. Or maybe he means you need to break, like, his Yeah, I'm gonna break you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, decent micro here from uh, Tigger. Oh, he attacks the wall behind. Misclicks there. Trying to get this Mangonel. He does get the Mangonel. I don't know why he deleted it. didn't need to delete there, but whatever. He yeah, got the well. Mangonel from Valus, and Tato is now coming with more villagers here. Tato is going to go for a forward castle. They need to get through somehow. They're trying to get through here. No more knights. <laughs> oh, I'm literally getting stressed out. <laughs> it's I, so str if you're in Tiger's position, you're really stressed. Right yes, now. you are super stressed. You're super also nervous stressed. and might make mistakes. Yeah, but yeah, let's see, let's see. Like I'm sure Tattoo doesn't mean it in a, a mean way. Uh, he, he wants no, to no, no, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, no, a hundred percent, no. Yeah. But like, there's a certain point where you just need to stop telling your teammate what to do. And I don't yeah. care if you're Tato or Viper or any player whatsoever. You need to trust in them at some point because it gets stressful. It gets frustrating if you're the pocket and you can't play it's your full It's just snowballing potential. in a bad way. Yeah. Shoot walls now. Just everything. <laughs> everything. As Tato goes for the forward castle. All right. Okay, on the other side, let's look over here. We've got four TCs for red. We've got three TCs for Fengita. We've got four TCs behind for Teal. FedEx is ahead on Eco big time over uh, Fengita. He's got the fishing ships and he's got more Vils queued up now. You are all softies, man. Taking it in the fields. It's no biggie people telling you what to do. Dude, it gets super frustrating, Snoopy. Don't take it to heart. It's about efficiency. If it's about efficiency, I, I won't even get into this, man. I won't even get into this. Yeah. I play so much worse if someone's telling me what to do. So much worse. I get frustrated. I get stressed out. It's just, you got to trust in your That's teammates. That's how it is. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are. You have to trust in your teammates. And now Tato coming forward with another castle here. We've got Tigger still here with Mangonels. And behind this, we have Teutonic Tanks. I wonder if he has Redemption. Action is here, here, here. Now, Tato is adding Korean backends, uh, war backends, I mean. Uh, Blue has already the counter. Triple Monastery. Yep. Lots of monks. There's redemption There's right there. There's monks. redemption yep. right there. Good timing. Yep. Oh, and but monks getting the sniped tower. by the towers. Yeah, the towers yep. are great here. Towers are great here. Okay, Tato saying just boom, and that's fine. That's fine. That's a good, that's a good calm right there. Just boom. Perfect. So the Kramer are going to boom up behind this. just boom with the Mangano? <laughs> yeah, maybe. And uh, Fangita is going to hold on on the other side. So he's going for walls behind the wood lines. He knows he's behind, and he's just going to go probably fortify wall here. Wall behind these wood lines. So even if they cut through, it's fine. Good play by Fangita. I like it. Is there no pawn for the other team? That seems only right as a pawn. Am I right? Yep. Only one pawn here. Yeah, that's kind of fortunate, but happens. Yeah, like I said, it has to be a three pawn difference for them to restart the game, so. Oh, fair. Yeah. Well, it's part of uh, Black Forest is also uh, part of standard. Oh, you need, yeah, I mean, some, uh, RNG. I, I think like part of the, the beauty of this tournament is that things are going to be unfair, right? Whether it's sieves or yeah, generations you, you, well, or pawns unfair, or whatever. You can, you can adjust your... Uh, that's the good the exactly. cool thing about Age of Empires 2, that you exactly. can adjust your uh, uh, gameplay or game style. All right, here come the monks. Needs to delete that Mangonel or maybe get some good shots off here. The Mangonel does get converted, but there's really not that much for it to target as the knights come through for Tigger. And Valis goes for Palisade Gates. So that's, those won't hold for very long. Knights are in now. And um, Teutonic Tanks is still only on two TCs. Tato has three behind this. 
But they have walled this area. So once the monks get through, he's waiting for the monks to complete the walls. There we go. Good stuff there from Teutonic Tanks. Real nice. Sacrificing so, the villagers. I'm so even. happy for him that this time his defense, uh, defending is uh, going so much better than the last game. Yep. Or two games ago, actually. It's already two games ago. Why is the Khmer player not making Ballista Elephants to cut the trees? Because he doesn't have a castle, man. <laughs> it would take so long. To, you went Night Siege, it would take so long to go into a castle to make a Ballista yeah, Elephant. You gather the stone and you kind of want the and stone And then you cut the one stones. tree at a time and if the opposing team sees it, they just simply wall behind. Just yeah. as fast as you're cutting. I feel like Ballistic Elephants are more of a meme than yeah. actually a real game plan. Alright, two more TCs here for FedEx. So he's going for a Super Boom. We've got Monos now with Stables for it. He's already got Cavalier, um, courtesy of the Burgundians, and he reaches Imperial Age, goes for Onager, so he's going to try and cut through against Gray over on this side. Meanwhile, on the other side, the push continues here for Tato and for Tigger. And lots of war wagons here for Tato. Lots of war wagons. Paladin now coming in for the Burgundians. Yeah, the push is strong from Tato here together with Tiger. Yeah. And Tiger behind that, he is on three TCs. So Tiger's now even typing in the chat as well. Yeah. That's interesting. A boom into what? And that's the question with Khmer, right? It's like, what do you really go into here? Elephants are okay. And Tato says Ballista Elephant. Interesting, and I just said before that's more of a meme. No, well. like if you get all the upgrades, they're really strong. And they even, oh my god, yo, Valis attacking the boar with the villagers. What's going on, Valis? You're losing so many bills to the goddamn boar, Valis. What are you doing see. near the push? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that what was an horrible that? misclick. <laughs> he lost like three I... bills to that. <laughs> All right, castle. castle comes up now there, yep. but the mangano could be dangerous there from Tiger. If yep. he gets into that ball, ah well, the war wagon is not doing enough damage. Good thing um, he got one there. <laughs> Guys, there's no problem with Tato saying like boom or strategy choices. It's one you're micromanaging. That's the issue. Yes. Strategy choices are fine. You know, unit choices, make this, make that. You know, cut the it's night production, also that's fine. It's also fine if that was uh, was their game plan, something like that. The Tatus kind of functions as a coach as well. That's yeah, yeah. totally fine. It's just that B2 would prefer it if we would play that it doesn't happen to us. Because yep. we know how it could feel. Exactly. There is no drama. There is no hate. It's all fine. We love Tato and Tato also loves us. It's all okay. So All right, let's focus on this really entertaining game, man. <laughs> Cavalier coming in. We got Paladins here for Mono, so he switched sides over there. They're not pushing against the Indians. They saw the walls, the incredible walling here from Player 7. So they're going to come oh, over balls. to this side, and there's a pause, and we can kind of analyze the armies here. We've got Cavalier from Mr. Planner as Spanish. He's getting the Paladin upgrade in 10 seconds. We already have Paladin from the Burgundians. And we've got Halberdiers coming in here from the bulgarians these wagons are kind of stuck out in the open and they might get cleared up pretty soon and he, tato told his pocket to go for ballista elephant but he doesn't even have any stone for a castle yet so it's going to be really rough he's got a lot on stone but it's still a long ways out um from getting that Mr. Planner. Yes. Mr. Planner is always looking so strong in this game, man. He's just Tato trying to get out with those war wagons. Oh, God. Uh, he ouch, manages ouch, to escape ouch. with a few, but it's not enough. Yeah, it's the walls there lot. are so ugly. Yeah, the walls there are super ugly. Well, his presence there is now big. It's just spamming out with yours. 40 Halbadies are uh, on the field here right now. SO on the way from Valis too. So it's going to be Halb SO for him. Mm. Oh boy. And these Burgundian Paladin, not as good as the Spanish Paladin. You can get them faster. You can get the upgrade cheaper, but they're not as good. Now we got Obuk coming over. So everyone is switching to this side bullet. Nobody is going to be focused on the other side for the time yeah. being. Yeah, well, there are too many walls. Look at the walls from <laughs> Yep. 
<laughs> well, everything should be fine. <clears throat> There's gonna be a huge battle in the middle there. Huge, huge, huge. They all had more walls, so there's not that much space. And okay, I'm not sure <laughs> why did Titanic come through there. Well, okay, now yeah, well now we can. Well, cut he's, again. You, you know what? He's doing something. I mean, it's he's a, not even an imperial age, choice. dude. It's it's a converted onager. Oh, really? That he's cutting with. Yeah, he's not even this. an imp. Well, obviously, because um, Tato uh, did so much pressure on him, so it makes sense. Tato also not up to Imperial yet, or Al uh, is actually hitting Imperial soon in, the, uh, yeah, like, a minute or less. Yep. Castle's coming how down on either side. How good are the Obuch, or how they are pronounced? Or they're how? really good against um, uh, Halberdier, and they're decent against Paladin if you could strip off the armor. The problem with them is as soon as you add in any uh, range units, then it becomes the a guy like issue. flies yeah and the poles don't really have any other options it's not the bad the pierce armor though six it looks decent to me i mean a paladin is only one more it's not too bad yeah but yeah they're, lo they're losing more and more map here tata's team they're losing ground Snoopy, can you chill, man? Just don't send anything else. Thanks. That is a big prayer. Well, actually, Monos is here also with lots of Paladins, but they're Burgundians, <clears throat> not, um, uh, as you said, Spanish Paladins. Yep. All right, Paladins pushing in, Ova pushing in. Uh, Siege Onagers behind from Vallas. And... Double Castle, too, from Gray. So he's just trying to lock it down here. So Gray switched over. Everyone's switching over on this side. And Elite Elephant Archer is in. These are the good Elephant Archers bullet. These are not the bad ones with the new patch. <laughs> the new patch Elephant Archers suck. <laughs> but uh, these are the, the old good ones. And look at this from uh, from FedEx. He's going to go with Bombard Cannons over here. And the trade is going to be running right through this little corner. But Gray with some Bombard Cannons of his own. He's, FedEx isn't paying attention. It's gonna snipe the, these down. I assume blue will just go full trash. BBC trash, something like that. Oh, oh, or you go cataphracts. Wow, but they only have one castle, so I, I don't think yep. so. Yep. Castles are here now from Tigger. He's got two of them, and he's making his way into elite ballista elephant. They get wrecked by siege onagers, though. This is gonna be really difficult. Honestly, I don't. Huh. It's tough. It's what, a really tough. What composition here. you go for here, especially with I like? I think it's, it's just in a losing field with those sifts against your it just, sifts. It, it feels so bad like, because you have you have Burgundians, which are good early imp, but kind of suck later on, and you have poles yep. that are good early imp and kind of suck later on, and you're matching up against four sifts that actually have pretty decent uh, late imperial how, options. How good are winged hussars? They're pretty. They're pretty decent. They got like the, maybe that's um, an option. Maybe, but I mean, you don't really want to be making just food units. True. Right? True. Yeah, I think they're gonna need to cut somewhere and try and open up another avenue of attack uh, because these so SO Oh, Red is losing so many. Yeah, these SO are gonna destroy. Aye, aye. SO sure are absolutely game. gonna destroy. The, the, wow. The score is really close, but. No, the sieves are just too good for a team yeah, balance, I think. It seems super strong. As long as they don't do a big mistake, I think they yeah. have this. Like I, I think that uh Tato or Tato's team needs to cut somewhere, I think. They need yeah. to open up a new front because Monos isn't gonna be able to get anything done with Burgundians. Um the poles Ooh. have already kind of reached their limit. The elite police yeah. elephants are coming in, but they get destroyed by Sea yeah, Jonathan. Check the upgrades. For who? For the ballista elephants. Well, I mean, you're not really missing that much, are you? You're missing. Let's see, bloodlines. Uh, Ooh. he's got the extra range. Uh, my bad, my bad. 
I forgot that they're ballista elephants, like actual ballista elephants, so yeah. you can't really upgrade them much. My bad. You thought he was missing fletching and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Oh, bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Game knowledge. They're cutting. This Hard is what they needed stuff. to do. Tato cut through on the left side, and oh, Teutonic tanks, how do you not even put anything there? How do you not put an outpost there or anything? It's kind of a throw here from Teutonic Tanks as the Paladins are making their way on the left side of his base. Still, they can't push the... Or they can't stop the push in the center. Elephant Archers here. SO here. Paladin here. Halberdiers as well. That's tough, Teutonic man. Tanks trying to wall weirdly in his base. At but least he has some castles. Yeah. But... Ah, oh, man. Is that economy still gonna get trapped here? Yeah. I'm gonna lose like 50 villagers at least. Yeah, not looking be, uh, beautiful. What, what a nice side attack here from uh, Tato together with um, uh, Monos. Love it. Yeah, that's yeah, what they needed to do. Though. It's the only, yeah, it's the only thing they could do here. 100%. And and it's honestly, I'm disappointed. Teutonic tanks didn't even have an outpost over there. To look for that cutter, it seems so obvious. But granted, he had a lot of other things to do with this game. Okay, Paladin's mm -hmm. trying to snipe the SO here from Valis, and the SO number is down from what it was for him, for sure. And the Paladins are still doing work over here in Blue's base. And the Valis elephants are so tanky, man. They eat those SO shots. <laughs> it's actually insane. Wow, well, for a limited time. Yeah, they survive like four And shots. they're really struggling against the elephant. Dude, the you think the Bliss elephants are tanking? Look at these goddamn elephant archers, man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. 350 HP. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> the Ballista just tickle at them. <laughs> yep. Okay, they're clearing up the pallet in, in Blue's base now. Blue is still at 89 vils, so he didn't sustain all that much damage. And now he's sending his cataphracts over to this main side, and the cataphracts should do fairly well against the SO Halberdier combination, and even against the Burgundian Paladin. I think the cataphracts would probably, with the splash damage, win that fight. Huh, it depend. M meanwhile, you have some really intense bomber cannon micro on the right side. <laughs> yep. They've just been going back and forth. Even a cannon galleon mixed in. <laughs> Damn, Interesting. That's a bit much. Oh, he's going to chop through here. Yeah, green goes for the SO over there. Well, so is FedEx. <laughs> Interesting. Not sure because the battle in the middle, well, it's still a kind of stalemate, so... Oh, no. The Paladin are going through the hole that they cut. Uh-oh. Teal is going through on the hole that Tato cut before... And does Tato notice this? Teal is killing all the vills. You need to send Paladin through before he closes this off. And Tato. Oh, that was a mistake. That's a mistake for Mr. Yep. Planner, I think. Tato, can he hit the gate in time? He gets it. <laughs> that was a big mistake for Mr. Planner, I think. He should have gone yeah. through the Paladin right away. Agreed. But Agreed. the there push was is window, on now. But he didn't use it. Pushes on from Fangita, and both of them are thinking about cutting over there. Bombard <laughs> Cannon Micro is still going on. Oh, Paul is pushing on the right side, but there's still a big wall, and... Yep. Well, the gates will go down. They're also... If... When he gets in there, there's all the trade, right? That's the trade we have, pretty much. SO versus these elephant archers. SO! Tato's not taking the shots! He's backing up! Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there oh, my god. oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh jeez. He's too he busy microing bombard cannons on the other side, dude. He's too busy. Fuck He lost like so many. They're so tanky though. They're actually like absorbing some of this. <laughs> you think it was actually helpful? <laughs> I mean maybe. Yeah, and the right side he defended, that those, those archer elephants like, just kill. The poles yep. don't really have a... Like, well. The poles don't really have a counter to elephant archers. Not yeah. really. Um, poles, like I said, late game, they just... It, on a closed map late game, like, they, they're good on open maps, sure. On closed map, 
less they're options just lacking. for sure. They're just lacking. Yeah. So are the Burgundians, to be fair. And we see that from Mono. It's like he's just going into Paladin right now, but he's missing bloodlines with these Paladin. And the Cataphracts are here now in numbers from Teutonic Tanks. And Cataphract Shred. And look at the trade. Look at the trade. It's going right through there. Some of it anyway to the north. Main trade line a little bit further to the south. And uh, Tato is asking for food and wood now. Yeah, the push is coming in strong here. They, they're losing so much ground here. They're trying. I can't like, believe after losing so many elephants that they still continue pushing. How is this possible? Yeah. Well, the cataphracts are here now. The paladins are here. More SO are here. I think Valis really stalled out SO production for a while there, and he's got the four trebs. He kept those alive, so he's gonna take out that castle from Tato. The list of elephants actually kind of doing work on the other side. But they take so long to kill these elephant archers, Bolin. Oh my god! Yeah, that, that's just too tanky. <laughs> Even with killing the armor off. <laughs> it's just too much. They're getting nuked by the SO now. Meanwhile, on the other side, Obuk are in. They are into the trade. And they're taking off armor on the trade. You <laughs> love to see it. <laughs> I don't think trade guards even have any armor <laughs> to take off. They're fine. Like, they're also really slow, so... <laughs> they need a different unit to kill the trade off. It's, I mean, he's, he's doing pressure here, so that means there's less in the middle, but... Ooh. I'm saying this, in the middle they're still losing. Heal is over here with Paladin trying to snipe these Bombard Cannons from Red and he managed to get two of them. So he's going to stall out the push there. It looks like FedEx is now coming forward with keeps. Do Poles not get Bombard Tower? I thought they did. Hmm. It's going with keeps maybe because it snipes the trade but I don't know. I guess. If ballistic, yeah. Also they look really fancy, the towers. <laughs> Well, yeah, this push is unstoppable really... here. Yeah, it's, it's too strong. Credit... They lost too much ground. They did not cut off from each other, so... Yep. No, they've got a little area at the back there that the I trade is going I would love to see some castles that, um, uh, from uh, Wallace's team. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's what they need, right? Castles or Bombard Towers or something. Maybe the Byzantine player going into Bombard Towers and then securing yeah. this whole yeah, area would be Yeah, that would be really be good, I think. Because you don't have that many cataphracts on the field. And this, yeah. My question is just like, right we see the Polish player doing work over on the, um, the right side. But my question is like, what does yellow do here? Just bad paladins? Is that all you keep spamming? The numbers are just not the there Andians, for him. Well, you need, someone has to produce paladins, right? Yeah. I mean, what else can you do with four Guardians, really? Exactly, that's the question. <laughs> like hand unit cannons unit. or something? I don't know, that feels pretty <laughs> underwhelming. Ah, uh, yeah. I think it's probably the right call. The revolution's gonna nuke your eco, you don't want to go for that. And it would probably die to all this stuff anyway. <laughs> is yeah, the, the minus, minus 20... Yeah, the HP is actually a big deal. It's a big it deal, is. yeah. It's a big <laughs> deal. It seems like not much, but then you remember how important armor upgrades are and attack upgrades, and they're only like uh, plus one. <laughs> yeah. Or at least the first upgrades. Paladin from Mr. Planner over here. He's trying to snipe the bomber cannons once again, and the elephant archers are on the right side. Elephant archers in mass now starting to push out, so they're losing on both sides now. And the Rams are now in from Valis. Valis making so many different units. He's got Halberdiers. He's got some two-handed swordsmen. He's got Trebs, Siege Onagers, Siege Ram. Like, Valis is, is all over the place. Yep. But they're making progress. Fedex and Monos are making progress on the right side. He sent some Paladins in, uh, in now. But, yeah. Some SOs... Would be really cool. Like, if Tiger would send like three SOs over there, 
Put out below. He does have one. Oh, oh, you mean Esso from the right side? Yeah. Well, Tiger from, uh, doesn't I... have Esso as Skimmer, but you mean uh, Tato? Uh, uh, Tato then, yeah. Yeah. All right, Sable's coming forward from Mr. Planner. They're just solidifying their grasp here. And remember, Tigger was going on to uh, Elephant Archer production, or not Elephant, Bliss Elephant production. And he's losing his castles. So he's not going to have many places to produce them from pretty soon here. Oh, maybe big shots on the Ballista Elephants. I'm and there's sure. the Bombard Towers from the Byzantines. Yep, I, I love to see that. Yep. That's going to give them so much map control. And look at the trade. Is still Some of that trade is still making its way through the battlefield here. Oh, that's so ugly. That's so ugly. That's Red's trade. I didn't need to wall off that uh, small gap, I feel like, in the middle. Or close up the middle. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, it looks like a really uh, losing position. I, yeah. Don't see it. Oh my god, big hits from the Seachow Neckers on those. But it's the elephant, another big hit. He's losing all of them. Ay, 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 I don't ay, even ay, see ay, what ay, you're ay, talking ay. about. I have no middle, idea. It, right by the castle. Maybe you're a bit behind. Yeah, I think I am. So um, I get to see it in, in full motion. Here. Well, yeah, I can rewatch it now because my game just. Closed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him now. Oh, let's go. All the Ballista Elephants going down. And that FedEx's trade is still running through here. He didn't relocate his markets to the edge of the map. So he's still trading to his initial base. And Gray is still holding on this side, but there's more Paladin now from the Burgundians. And, but the Bombard Towers are getting closer and closer. Tato going for keeps in defense. See Jonager's coming in now from Valis. More SO on the way. And more trades yeah. still running through this. Oh, purple yeah, trade, so red bad. trade, all of the trade. Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> it's very much ripped at this point. And the trade line uh, has been relocated from the edge of the map. So even though they're pushing in here, they still have a little ways to go to get to the trade. Yeah. Still, I'd love for Gray to ask it's for some help Monos, over though. here. Monos has yeah. a lot of paladins on this side. Yeah, I'd love for Gray to ask for some help over here. But Kumarsen's, he lost so much military, man. He did. And look at the spam from Valis. These are um, Bagain's two-handed swordsmen. So these have <laughs> plus eight armor. Pretty ridiculous, honestly. Agreed. Could, could they do something like some special thing to get the upper hand again? Uh, normally I'd say cut, but I think you just need to keep pushing in towards the trade. Maybe they could cut in the middle here. There's Paladin now on FedEx's eco. This is going to be very annoying for him. Yeah. Uh, and there's oh my god, there's Cataphracts in the eco from Tigger now. It's just in late game, I don't see. It just seems really in late game. No, they're outside. doing. They're doing all the right things. Assuming Gray can hold on the right side, and it looks like he can now that the Paladin are there for Mr. Planner. Yeah. The, the Bombard ta Towers are going to seal the deal for them. Like, just securing 100%. this whole area and making it super hard to push back. I would back. love to see from Blues ascending like 10 <gasps> villages to the right side just to take the map control over again. Oh with, with, my uh, god! Valus oh just lost all of his SO, bro! Again! Oh, oh no! Oh my god. But they call the GG anyway. Yeah. I mean, aye, aye, aye. that was uh, another great game, but just better sieves for Team Valus. And Is it best of seven? Place. No, it's best of five. It, it's so, Black Forest, dude. It's best yeah, of five. Yeah, wow, I'm, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. <laughs> well, that was a good set. A really did fun they set. But they, did, did, does this still happen occasionally that the game just shuts down without even sending an error? Uh, Once in a thousand games, maybe. Mono said, wow, GG, good luck me. next round. <laughs> It's, it's, oh my. Yeah, sorry, Monos. There is no next round. He doesn't even know in which round he is. He's an autopilot right now, dude. Such an arena player, man. Yeah. 
A real clown. A real clown. <laughs> yeah. Damn, oh, dude. Man. Great stuff there. I mean, great play from Dallas to go into so many different units. And then um, I also liked uh, the defense early from Teutonic Tanks. He kept his allies safe. Um, Tato and Tigger couldn't really do much with their early push. FedEx couldn't do much as poles. Monos tried to make it work, but it didn't happen. And then uh, Fengita with the defense on that side, which was much needed. I think Valis yeah. kind of carried that one, though. He had so many different units on the field. Valis is just next He's level, beast. man. He's yeah, he indeed is. I miss some experimental play by Tato. Normally, you see some really crazy stuff. Not today, though. I think it's hard on 4v4BF, right? To do yeah, that stuff. Uh, definitely. But if I expect someone to play some crazy shenanigans, then it's from Tato. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> 